Hey guys, it's Rocco here with another Lunar Classic Spaces. We do these spaces every Sunday where we talk to people from all over the community. This is a really special one today because we've got OG Terror Rebels people. Whatever you think of Terror Rebels, and I don't agree with everything that they've done, but Lunar Classic wouldn't be where it is without them. They're the guys that, you know, rallied and made Lunar Classic what it is. So we talk about them, get their opinions on some of the key topics that's going around at the moment, especially with the coin market cap links. We talk about the the Repeg, Juris Alpha, the project I'm part of, and also show some meme coins. You guys know I'm trying to push the meme coin narrative, especially with Cat with Hat uh, at Terra Casino and Rexy. So we'll go into a lot of that as well. Hope you guys enjoy. If you do enjoy, guys, do hit that like button and subscribe. It really helps the channel out. This is the longer form content where I turn the spaces into a podcast for you guys to listen to. We also do a weekly video where it's like a 10 minute shortened version of what's going on. All you need to know. If you want to go into a details of exactly what's happening, happening on the trenches of Luna Classic, listen to this space and like I said, if you enjoy it, do leave a comment below. It really helps a channel out, whether it's just a hi or LUNC to the moon or Lunk to Wanderla, whatever you want to put, it really helps the channel out. But enjoy the spaces. I'll catch you guys next week with the, with the weekly Luna Classic video update. So thank you very much. Enjoy the spaces. Good evening, everyone. Hope you all having a very good weekend. Welcome to our weekly Lunar Classic Spaces. We'll talk all things Lunar Classic. What's happened this week? We'll talk about Juris, talk about uh, the Terra Casino burns of the Lean Coin. And then if you guys have any questions, we'll take questions as well. A few key things to talk about, I guess, this week is the Coin Market Cap uh, links update. There's been lots of drama with it. I'll share with you my thoughts. There's two proposals up there at the moment. Um, we can talk about the steering group. I don't know if Ed Trev's going to join. He did a spaces couple of um, couple of days ago, I believe, with um, um, I can't remember the validator's name, but Happy Catty Crypto and a few people joined his spaces. So we can touch on steering group if Ed Trev joins. We'll have updates from Jewish Protocol. Uh, we hit 10 million market cap again. Uh, so it's quite good to see after the crazy pump that we had where we went from 1 million to 10 million within a few days um that you know we got the dip but it wasn't just a pump and dump the price steadily nicely trended up again so that's good to see we'll hopefully get some alpha from lunatic um tax to gas so i read that proposal from strat Cole to do tax to gas in a slightly different way i'm probably not the uh, best person to talk technical details if uh, frag joins we can touch on that as well and yeah, we'll bring you guys up. If you guys have any question, just hang out for a couple of hours. So that's the intro. Uh, Jurist, how are you, how you doing today? Uh, hi, Rocco. I'm doing fine. I'm at my parents today. They didn't see me for a couple of weeks, so I decided to uh, visit them for dinner. Um, I was two, three minutes late, but but I'm, I'm lucky today because you guys didn't start yet. So I'm happy to be here. Um, I've prepared some updates um yeah let's see how the space goes pretty filled so sorry if i sound a little bit weird i didn't smoke or uh, something so don't worry i'm still clean and sober <laughs> no that's good I've, I've got a bit of a cold so i might have to get you and rexy to talk more rexy how you doing you're like a co-host now you join most of our spaces yeah well it helps people get to sleep don't it so you got to do your bit i'm fine thank you but, uh, it's been a real exciting kind of weekend. There's been no end going on. Uh, lunatic, great to see that you're kind of getting some time with your your parents as well. Um, great to hear that you're keeping clean as well. If you're not clean, you've got a great imagination, so that's good, isn't it? Um, but yeah, it's been an exciting week and it lots going on. And uh, you know, looking forward to what we kind of discussed today, really. Yeah, I've seen some interesting posts from uh, Jacob Gadigan, uh, so we can maybe touch on that later on as well. Sorry, uh, Lunatic, go ahead. No, it's fine. I was just saying uh, I asked Danny to smoke more for me because he's now the creative guy and I need to get to work, so it's okay. Cool. I guess we can get started. So the first topic uh, I want to probably touch on is the controversial coin market cap links. Um, I might be paraphrasing. I don't know the full details. Uh, Lunatic Rexy, if you guys know more details, 
do jump in. But from my understanding, is with TFL shutting down, someone from the community uh, reached out to Coin Market Cap to update the links. I believe it was someone called Tech. Uh, I did retweet it and shared my thoughts. Um, I personally think it it should be, I guess, the community uh, governance deciding what website to use. But I can also see the argument that Coin Market Cap is not a decentralized website; it's a personal website. So if they want to link whoever, or not even link us, it's up to them. But I do agree that it should probably be the community governors voting. It shouldn't be I reached out, I have my website, and I show my own places, on my or show my own tokens, or I block people. Um, I don't have any problem with it being Vegas's group. I'm part of that group. I do check now and again, but I know some people said that they didn't have access. So. Um, I can see both sides of the argument, but that's what happened. So someone reached out. Uh, apparently, um, Rex, you might know a bit more. Terra uh, TFL had shared two links. Uh, one of them was Rex's Terra Civita Telegram group, and one of them was Vegas. I'm not sure why Vegas's one was picked, but I guess one of them was picked. So it wasn't just randomly someone picking a website. It was through TFL, um, and then they picked Vegas's group and they updated. I think it was a step in the right direction that having a link where it links to a Terra Casino web, uh, Terra Casino, a Terra website, a, Lunk, a Luna Classic website is better than it taking it to Luna website. So previously, if you went on Coin Market Cap, clicked on the links, it would take you to Luna, um, and potential new investors would get shown Luna rather than Luna Classic. So it was a step in the right direction, whosoever website it is. But you know some community members didn't like it um, and a lot of the drama I try not to get involved with uh, but those were two proposals now one's for Vegas's website and then that website and telegram group and other one is for all nodes to take control uh, I don't have any preference you guys can go read the proposals Commonwealth and decide for yourself uh, but the Vegas's links got taken down um, Again, I don't really mind. I think from an investor's point of view, they just want one website and Telegram group that has all the information, and that's my opinion. So as long as we have a website before TFO shuts down end of this month um, and it links to a Luna Classic website, that is, um, I'd be happy. Um, but I guess that's my sort of um, thoughts on that. Lunatic, do you want to add anything to it? Uh, maybe I should say something because I, I voted on it. Um, I would have supported both proposals. I just think the one from Strife was a little bit more, um, how do you say that? Um, but for, um, just sounded a little bit better, you know? I think it's a good intermediary solution to have all nodes as the custodian. Um, they've proven to be, mo for the most part, impartial, I would say. Um, most of their voting was in favor of the chain, so uh, I would trust them with this task for now. I voted yes on the uh, uh, strap proposal, like giving all notes custody. I voted no on the one of Vegas, not because I don't like him or not because it was super bad. There was just a proposal that was better, in my opinion. That's why I voted this way. Um, yeah. Okay, uh, we'll go to Rexy, and then we've got the man himself, Vegas, so we can bring Vegas on after Rexy. Rexy, your thoughts on it? <clears throat> Yeah, cheers. It's um, yeah, it's been a manic week, hasn't it, um, with regards to that and CMC. Um, I guess just to kind of respond to, I think it's a bit of a kind of question you posed to us, really, in terms of how TFL ended up with uh, a Twitter, um, a kind of Twitter post that included all these different um, kind of group Telegram groups on them, and going back, oh crack, how long ago is it now? best part of maybe 18 months, two years. I um, had a good relationship with TFL and it became, it became clear that we needed to have links to community groups that were connected with Terra Classic, Lunk, if you like, as opposed to Luna. Um, so talking one of the contacts there, um, you know, came up with a, a list of groups that seem to be representative of the different I hate calling it this but the factions within terra classic um and yeah so you know i kind of suggested quite a few maybe some other people did as well i'm not sure um and i suggested for instance the the terror rebels discord because they was around at the time um as well as vegas's um me and vegas haven't always kind of agreed on things um but 
I thought it's only fair that as many areas of Terra Classica represented as possible. And just because people have a different view to you doesn't mean that their views aren't important. Um, and you've got to cater for the whole of the community, not just the community that kind of, you know, supports your ethos, if you like. So I think TFL kind of took that on board, or say I think that they did do, um, and they came up with that post kind of um, signposting to different community groups. Um, and then as time went on, okay, you know, we had, um, you know, the issue with TFL closing down and the the acute kind of problems in terms of, you know, how are we going to make sure that there's links into, you know, the, the Lunk community. Um, and one community member, Neo Damon, just took it upon himself. He's also known as Tech to approach coin market cap they got in touch with tfl and tfl selected just one of those kind of um, groups from a telegram perspective and it was vegas's group so i know when tech kind of spoke to me about this i you know um <laughs> it was quite colorful if you like the discussion um because i thought bloody hell you're going to cause absolute mayhem in the community um because people will just think you know there's some kind of centralization efforts going on and it's nothing to do with vegas i mean vegas has had you know a massive amount of criticism about this and you know people calling him out saying that you know he's centralized stuff he had nothing to do with it it's just a community member that took it on themselves to try to make a difference and you've got to support people trying to make a difference because if you don't have people doing that we're never going to get anywhere and you're never going to get everybody agree on particular kind of sites because even if you put it to a vote you're not going to get 100 percent compliance or 100 percent kind of agreeance if you like um so you know i kind of re look reflected on all this and i thought look okay you know argu arguably myself and vegas has got the biggest telegram groups in the the blockchain but you've got to take a step forward and i thought well if we can have one group on there that everybody's linked to and we can all kind of take a step back and think right if we don't really start working together and that sometimes means that yeah from a personal point of view maybe you know a group you've got or um a project you've got has maybe got to you know take one for the team so to speak then so be it um so i you know looked at the bigger picture and i thought at least we've got some socials up there that can be linked to and we've kind of got ourselves on the map so to speak so i you know i thought the the benefits of what tech did far outweighed the you know the cons so to speak um and then for a, a validator to just get in touch with tfo and get them took off to quite honest i, I was gobsmacked by that i mean i, I thought that was disgusting i mean that could, potentially could set the you know could have set the chain back um just to take it on themselves to decide that they was the law and order of the the community i didn't think was very good however we've got two new proposals now the one that vegas um generated with various kind of links on and also straths from my point of view i voted yes on them both and the reason being is that i thought straths has got some good structure to it in terms of a way forward but i thought until that way forward generated links that could be um kind of connected to i thought vegas's would kind of fill that gap um and if the community decides that they want other um you know urls if you like to link to and telegram groups or so be it you know we can migrate to them then okay yeah thanks for that. i think that was what i tried to say at the start as well that's why i shared both vegas's proposal and the other proposal because let the community decide and i agree that having some links uh the no links or linking to luna is way better and i thank the community member tech as well to to reach out and do this because anyone could have done it right i could have reached out mm -hmm. taken some time and had my links up there uh tech i mean tech didn't have his own links up there but he tried to do something to help the help the chain and more people in the community can do that it's a decentralized community chain rather than talking a big game and you know, i'll put my hand up on influencer or I'll tweet link to one dollar or whatever i could i could have reached out to coin market cap and tried to help so um 
yeah, it's it, it was a good step. It was a good. It was a step in the right direction. Hopefully, um, even with both the changes, we have a website at the end of Coin Market Cap rather than nothing that we have at the moment. But we'll we'll bring Vegas, and I know you get a lot of hate Vegas, but um, <laughs> I try to put yeah. those aside, and I'll I'll try to give you the space, and people can listen from the horse's mouth rather than all the things that's been spoken. Yeah, thank you, mate, for that. I appreciate that. Uh, first of all, the, the proposal that is uh, up uh, that uh, I did, um, it is not pointing to my website, I just want to correct that. So uh, that is pointing to, I don't know, Rex, is what's his name? Uh, uh, Lump Token, I think they call it. Yeah. Right? It's a guy, no, that, the, that's the one in that you mean. That's it, yeah, but what's the name of the dude that, that uh, start designing the website? Uh, um, I think he kind of wanted to keep okay. anonymous okay. from the point of view of not um, not having you the know, website linked to his validator, so it didn't yes. look like he was doing okay. it for, for political but reasons. A, yeah, but the 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 thing is that the the website that is linking uh, uh, that proposal is from uh, from that dude. He designed that website. Is uh, asking other validators, including myself as well. To uh, to fill up information there, and uh, I'm trying one my free time just to to give what I think is is, uh, is is important to have there as well, like other validators are doing, like other people from the community are doing as well. Um, that's just what I want to clear. It's not my website. The only things that are there that I created and was not today or yesterday it was two and a half years ago, was the Discord, the server, and uh, the Telegram. And why I'm suggesting these ones as being uh, social, uh, official socials uh, for the chain, I'm suggesting that because the Telegram is like, uh, like uh, 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 Rexis was just saying, it's one of the biggest ones on the chain. And it was not born yesterday. It's not like, uh, okay, let's create a big, a big, uh, a big uh, Telegram and call everyone uh, here or nicking uh, uh, users from other chains or uh, from other groups or whatever. No, it was not like that. That Telegram group was born for a massive reason because people keep forgetting, but at the beginning was no information at all. Everyone was thinking, okay, Luna Classic de uh, is dead. Let's just swap to Luna. Let's just uh, sell everything, yeah? And if you guys remember to be on the TFL group, everyone was that was asking any good news regarding Lung was automatically banned. That includes myself. So I decided on that day, yeah, on the 22 or 23 of May, I opened the Telegram chat and I start a big operation. Yes, I did. I was uh, uh, seeing every single person that was being banned that was asking for from Lung, yeah, and I lost days weeks, months, getting all of that people. Mate, we have information here. We are not letting the chain die. If you want to keep in, uh, uh, informed about the stuff, just uh, uh, join us on this Telegram. And we did that, yeah. So that's how the Telegram group uh, was born. I think that that chat deserves to be on the spot. That's it, yeah, it's my opinion. Whatever the other other people that I know that I have many enemies, they will think, oh, no, it's not. Uh, my Telegram is better. Whatever. Okay, cool. Uh, the server, the Discord as well. <sighs> Without that server, we will not even be talking here. Yeah. The first, I can tell you by head, the first person that said, okay, I'm going to vote yes for the proposal, the 3568 or whatever, that start all of this, yeah, was MCF. The second one was 01 nodes. The third one, if I'm not mistaken, was all nodes, yeah, uh, and so on and so on. And all of that was decided on that server. From that server, we, we start deciding the, the, the future of the chain or the revival of the chain was massively important. Understanding what was the problems of the chain, understanding how we can improve it. The first, the fights were inside of that, of, of, of that server. Yeah. Um, but that's just uh, uh, wh why I think that thing, that, that they should be there. Other stuff that should be on the, on the coin market cap wallets, massively important, mate. Today, we, <laughs> if you go to coin market cap, you get completely lost. First thing that appears, I believe that is MetaMask or something like that. Explorer, Soul Explorer, <laughs> it's absolutely ridiculous. You know, Dexes, for example, Rex is here. Go on the markets and try to find his, his Dex there. Their reports, it's not there. Not even TerraSwap, mate. TerraSwap that is what, five years old. It's not even there. It's things that I'm just trying to put there on the, on the map. Yeah, and if people don't like it, they could change it later. So 
instead of asking people to vote uh, yes in one uh, proposal or the other one, I think the best thing to do at the moment will be to vote yes on the two of them. Like I just did, yeah. And you, the problem I'm seeing is not the links itself, is a proposer that did them, is me. So okay, if it doesn't pass it, I believe that it will not pass the, the proposal. I just ask someone from the community, just do another one, yeah? Do another proposal, put the links that you believe that they are, sh they should be there, but this cannot stay like this because even the thing of old notes, yeah, having a, a, yeah, okay, it seems much more solid, that proposal. Yeah, and, and indeed it is, but it will take time. And this time that we are losing and we cannot afford losing time. On this past uh, two or three days that the Telegram was linked on the CMC, yeah, I saw loads of new users coming to the chain and say, and asking genuinely questions, you know, uh, including L1 or L2 questions, ecosystem things. I, I was super happy thinking, okay, is more people are outside of our community that we were not aware. And this is amazing. Yeah. And three days later, pff, I, yeah, I, I didn't see any of these new users coming. coming. I see lots of scammers, whatever. I have no idea how they can uh, find more information than, than, the real investors, but they can find information. But the real investors seems that they can't because they just tend to go to the official things like a CMC, CoinGecko, CoinRanks, whatever. Um, and it's a shame that we, as a massive project, massive project, but not the biggest project, people have to uh, to have that in mind. And I, this is what I'm, I want to tell uh, after. Um, but uh, as a massive project, it's a shame that we are, don't have the links pointing to something that is real, something that is keeps the, the community united, or something that is just bringing information, even if so, someday we have to change it. Now, coming back to that, we are not the biggest project in the in the in the in the, in crypto. This is very important to to understand because no one is going to just start changing analytics or tools of analytics because of us. And uh, is beautiful suggestions uh, out there? They will work amazingly good but not for this situation why because if you just do uh if you forget all the links there and just doing this is already bad why because we are neglecting the dexes neglecting the explorers neglecting the forums neglecting socials neglecting uh, uh, wallets so imagine that we leave all of that empty and we just have a website that is a, a, a tree. basically then we have uh, many socials many wallets many dexes that might work in a simplistic way. Yes, the, the, the community at least knows uh, now that he can point to a website, basically, and goes to that website and he will have uh, the many socials there or the many, the many wallets and he can choose. But in terms of ranking, and Jury is, is, is here, and he knows that uh, every time that, that you apply to, to CoinGeek or something like that, they study your socials, yeah? And studying your socials, they are not going to study them. They just have analytics. They fetch. They crawl. You know, they are just they just uh, point to the Telegram, check the 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 number of of uh, of users, number of activity, whatever. Everything that we already do ourselves, they will do it, but in an automatic way. So if we take all of that out of the equation, yeah, we are never going to be trending, or we're never going to be. You understand? Like, it's not going to be. A powerful pro project in the eyes of the coin market cap or coin gecko or any aggregator like that um so uh, for me in my opinion the solution of creating a, a master website on github or something like that that is just pointing to numerous things like a, a link tree in theory is good but in terms of analytics is going to be a tiny bit uh, bad in my opinion but yeah the only thing that i want to to leave here is the the proposal to passing swall node it seems solid it will take time the proposal to link the, the 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 links straight away now i think is something that we should do and if it doesn't pass this one i i hope that someone from the community that is doesn't have the same backlash that i am having can post some uh, some links so we can straight away finish this uh, this topic but yeah Okay, so if your proposal doesn't pass, I mean, I looked at it this morning, well, I don't think it was passing. What happens then? Do we have to wait for all nodes to pass? Will it be straight away or how long? What will be the steps to get links updated no. on market cap again? It, 
Yeah, if if uh, this proposal that seems that is not going to pass and almost sure that it will not pass, what will happen is that we have to wait for all nodes. From my understanding, yeah, from my understanding, we have to wait for all nodes. We have to wait for TFL to give the access to all nodes. And after that, yeah, then we have to go to the community and ask, guys, do you want this uh, as the new website? Give seven days as discussion. Yeah, and then seven days after the proposal, and then wait whatever time to get CMC uh, implementing the solutions. So in the reality, in the best case scenario, I can see this being something that uh, might take a month, you know, uh, and it's a month that we don't have, in my opinion. The bull run could start tomorrow. And who are we to decide that, uh, okay, we're going to wait for having links and losing the, the bull run, for example. In my opinion, that's just wrong. But um, yeah, it's what it is. So um, yeah, you will take, in my opinion, even if it works, even if TFL gives access of the email uh, to to access the um, uh, coin market cap and all uh, of all aggregators, even if they even if they do that, that I truly doubt that they will. Um, if they do that, you will take time because the way that the proposal is done, or at least what I understand from the proposal, is that you will take time to do anything so takes time to propose a website takes time for the for the discussion takes time for the proposal to 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 be uh, to be voted takes time to to send to coin market cap and <laughs> you know they take time as well uh okay now we want to change uh, the next link okay let's go again seven days for for discussion seven days for the proposal seven days to get implemented mate this is amazing i'm not going to lie this is exactly what what we should do but in the meantime we have nothing that's it. So the key is TFL handing over to all nodes before they shut down in 10 days time. If that doesn't happen, then we could be stuck, right? I'm, I'm not going to lie. It's not, we're never going to get stuck. I'm not going to let that happen. But uh, in the reality, in the reality, if, if we were a different project, yes, we will be stuck. Let's put it that way. OK, no, thanks for that, Vegas. Rexy? Yeah, it's an interesting one. It's, um, I mean, those that know me will know my substantive kind of background is risk management. And I take the view that if there's a risk that can have a massive impact on whatever it is that you're aiming to do, um, and this, from our perspective here, it's about making sure that Terra Classic survives and becomes, you know, heads towards being a top um, 20 kind of crypto again. Why actually... Um, kind of foster risks that you don't need to. And by having the socials taken off CMC, you're introducing new risks there. And I don't think it's a foregone conclusion that even if the, let's call it the old, or the Straths proposal passes, that TFL will pass um, kind of control over to all nodes. I mean, you, you know, when a, when a company's closing down, and people are looking for more jobs and things like this. People, you know, people aren't always present. So you might find that the person that actually has kind of control over the the Twitter or the email that's kind of linked to this and CMC, they might have had another job or they might be off with stress or something like that. So, then, you know, it's, there's lots of reasons why the socials couldn't be uh, handing over. And also from CMC's perspective, they'll have a legal agreement with TFL um, where TFL control those accounts. And once TFL are gone, well, that legal agreement's kind of gone. So why would CMC all of a sudden out of the blue think, oh, you know, we've got this chain here, we've got a, um, if you like, a governance community that, you know, is maybe deciding some things. Um, will kind of reach out to them and you know extend the legal agreement to them they might not even recognize it i've heard kind of rumors that they don't recognize it now so for me actually having socials up there with a linkage to cmc where you can communicate with them and they know that tfl's passed that over to us for me that was absolutely vital Okay, and um, we'll go to Vegas again and then David. 
Yeah, it's, it's quick. It's just a, a tiny correction there to... Um, I know, before after correction, I want to salientate what Rex is said, and it's, uh, it's true. Regarding um, regarding the the Demon Hands or whatever the name of the dude is, uh, saying uh, that uh, this all started in the wrong ways and blah, blah, and then it is exactly the same way, but with the massive problem that... Uh, this time, it affects the community really badly. But yeah, I just want to let that there. But yeah, regarding the governments, yeah, uh, I want to correct uh, uh, Rexis on this. Yes, you were right saying that before they didn't uh, recognize governance. Yeah. But today they do. So whatever it passes, they will follow uh, the system. So I can guarantee that, except that the proposal that is being passed at the moment is not a proposal to change the links or to change something. It's a proposal for TFL to give the access to uh, to uh, to all nodes, if I'm not mistaken. And that uh, coin market cap has nothing to do with. So it has to be TFL itself to give the the, the control to whatever entity. In this case, all nodes. Uh, but if it's to change links or stuff like that, uh, coin market cap will honor the governance. So yeah. That's uh, that's very new, I know, but they are going to do it. Have you had independent um, clarification of that then, Vegas? Sorry, I didn't understand. Has that been confirmed by Coin Market Cap to you personally? Yes, yes, a hundred percent, yes. Was by that, uh, Coin Market Cap and Binance. Was that um, done recently? Because a few days yes, ago, this, was... this week was done. This week, mate. Right. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. So uh, I did I did a proposal, yeah, knowing that if he passes, they will honor it. That's it. Okay, thanks, Vegas. Uh, David, and then back to Lunatic. Yeah, hi, everybody. How are you? Hopefully you have a great weekend. Um, listen, I, I was not planning to, to jump on and join discussion on this particular topic, but but when Vegas said that we, we cannot lose more time, uh, I just thought, well, uh, maybe I need to say something. Because I, I believe this is blessing in, the, in disguise, this, this situation with tech, that, that he touched this topic and then it became a validator's thing to, to you know, try to push this and, the, uh, and that and everybody woke up. So this is blessing in, in disguise because you actually started to do something about it. But I want to remember, remember everybody that just me in my first proposal, which was in November and December 2023, talked about this problem. It was also about building a website and designing a key visual. But one of the reasons behind it, one of the problems that we will solve, it was very deeply discussed in the Commonwealth and everywhere, was the fact that I already back then, you know, Talked about this that there was that there were TFL links links that link that were pointing to to other money, so you know, this is blessing in disguise. But you know this is something that was talked about for a very very long time. Again, we cannot just say right now, oh we don't have time. You know <laughs> this could have been solved years one one year ago at least even more. So I just wanted to remind you about this, and I hope that this will be a lesson to not uh, just uh, let's say uh ignore those problems and and wait for for something to to you know to crash badly to, to, for milk to, to to get you know to spoil because i i assume and this is only this may be only my opinion but i, I assume if if there was no techno tech who who did it uh, we will be not talking about this topic because none of you will touch this idea and regardless of tfl closing so listening is in disguise and lesson for validators and for everybody to not ignore those those small problems that that many people were talking and and there are way way more uh, problems like this and, and these are not even small these are you know hundreds of of, of users and and possible investors who could have, could have bought uh, Lung and got into an in ecosystem if only they were pointing to right website if only there will be a website uh, because I believe it's more important than than social link so. Just my couple of cents and hope it will be solved one way or the other um, so that we can all, you know, have our investment growing. Thank you. Well, just a quick question. Sorry, sorry to, to interrupt. What, uh, uh, David, what, uh, 
what is our contract uh, 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 number on the on the on the chain? And uh, let the dude right, uh, re re reply. I don't know what the contract, what our contract number is on. on That's it. it I, I understand. I understand that. I understand. And it's not your play. It's not your fault. The problem is we are native. We don't have a contract. Yeah. The the problem is that if you go to CMC, it will seem that we are. I don't know what is the first one. If it's a BNB or if it's a Ethereum, I think it depends on the aggregator that we are looking. So I understand that you say that the website is the most important thing, but everything else, mate, is super important. Explorer is important. Wallets are massively sure, important. Sure, Dex sure. is yeah, market, totally markets. <laughs> yeah, it's absolutely everything is very important. And and all we're doing is maintenance, right? I I agree with all of you with all all of what you have said, uh, Vegas, right? But uh, it's not two months after the crash, it's more than two years. I, I simply just want to remind you that, that you know, we have people, we have a time, we had the time, we, we have even money for this. This is a lesson that, that we all learn right now, that we are only fighting for this coin market tap one, you know, milk was spoiled and, and, ever, and there was grass, you know, some kind of fight for power, who's, who's link to who's, right? It, and and this is sad. We should have simply solved this uh, earlier. And I hope we'll next time will not you know let us to this point where we we only you know work on it when when something bad happened, right? So this is this is just it. Lesson for everybody. Cool, Juris, you're next. Um, I have a question for Vegas, uh, because as I pointed out, I voted no on your proposal, but if I understand it correctly, you have the okay from CoinMarketCap and from uh, uh, from the others that if the proposal passes um, and Straff's proposal also passes, it means that interim, we can have the links back up and they will honor it. And then if Straff's passes, we can still later give custodial rights to our notes so that a hundred percent is this correct a hundred percent mate a hundred percent so then i don't under because i don't know if the others were like aware i wasn't to be honest uh, that's why i voted no on on yours and yes on the other one um but then it probably makes more sense to vote yes on both i would assume right uh, yes, mate. It will be uh, in terms of if you forget uh, all of the of calling me scammer and uh, and uh, whatever. If you uh, racist, I no, said, no, it's not about no, that. No, no, I, just, I know, I know, I, I know. I but uh, I know that uh, that uh, I didn't even address when you say uh, saw you voting no because I saw okay they, they are trusting more the other proposal. Okay, I'm not going to say anything. Um, but uh, it will not change anything. Let's put it this way because even if you change your votes to yes at the moment. Uh, we have people there that they hate me so much that they will uh, they will tell whatever they need to tell, yeah, uh, to make sure that that proposal doesn't pass. So I really appreciate that that you are even uh, doing the effort to try to understand what's the best thing to do here on the chain. But I believe that the power tends to the persons that in in, in this situation uh, to persons that they will never allow for this to happen. So my suggestion at the moment is someone. Uh, else than me to do another proposal because i believe that uh, the situation with all nodes will take some time uh in my opinion personal opinion and we ha we need okay but because one yes, yes. thing isn't it better if because you your proposal was up first and stress came next so isn't it better if yours passes and then stress passes because he his would be 100 percent the last one which passed 100 percent. Right? so it would override us anyway yeah. and we could have an interim solution so i don't get why it's so bad maybe we should educate people there uh, Sorry, I didn't understand. So, okay, so the last part was, um, if your proposal passes first and then Streff's passes, yeah. th that means that his proposal is the last one that was voted on. Now, if you put a new one up, then it's like confusing. Yeah, it again is. It is. That it one... is. So, uh, what, to, uh, in my opinion, what the best thing that that we could do for the chain itself is passing the proposal that I did. Yeah. And the, the second proposal that uh, was done by Strat pointing the things to all nodes, it does not depend on CMC. So it will take some time. But as soon as uh, all nodes have the dashboard, the C CRD, 
and you have this I'm pretty sure that you have a SDR for for SRD for your own project you know that then you can change the the the, the things as you want uh but that it has to be tfl to give so in my view in my personal view one proposal is not connected to the other proposal and um, yeah we're just going to lose time that's it by not doing this no i get it so 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 then it wouldn't be the best thing if like people like me and for example uh, i don't i cannot vote for others but i would assume others would possibly also vote in favor then so we change our votes and educate others why we did I will, I, in my opinion, yes, that will be the best thing to do. But uh, in a reality, you and me know that that uh, you have, uh, I don't know, one, two, three, four persons there at least with some kind of weight that uh, they will never let a proposal pass that is somehow connected to Vegas. That's the reality. But I really appreciate that you are doing the effort for this chain, mate. That's absolutely amazing. I think it'd be good, Vegas, if you clarify that, because I wasn't aware of that either, that if your passes and then uh, Strat's course passes, all nodes will still get the, the rights um, to the coin market cap link. So maybe a tweet from you to clarify that um, would help people vote. I, I can do that. I can do a, a tweet regarding that. But I, I don't know how 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 people are confused on that i i i generally believe i understand that uh, juries and uh, and uh, frag uh, uh people like that that are serious here on the chain they might be okay uh, this one seems more right so i'm going to vote on this one but um, other people they don't care mate a hundred percent yeah that some of 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 uh, of this community you could not care less whatever it's like uh is made by this dude i don't like him i'm going to vote no or not not, not even voting no is not voting no with veto just for you to understand how bad this is yeah go and see who did the deposits to my uh, to my uh, proposal it was not me it was someone from the community and then yeah a, a day later or whatever someone brainwashed his head and now he's voting no with veto to the proposal that he found like he deposits he's going to lose the money but he doesn't understand that because someone brainwashed his head yeah saying that i'm a bad actor he's like how can i reach these people it's like impossible you know and he was the one giving the, the money for the deposit so he's going to lose what i, it, I think he put four million uh, uh lungs there so he, he's voting no with veto to his own proposal you cannot make this shit up. You just go there and, and you look. You vote yes, yeah. He, he deposit for the proposal and then you vote no with veto. You know. So yeah, what I'm trying to say is that I really appreciate that that uh, that people are trying to understand what is best to the chain. I will do a tweet if you guys think that will help. I personally believe that that you will not. I'm on this game for a long time and I understand that whatever I do will not change the minds of uh, of uh, some people. But if, just to be clear. Can, um... If I can just add something there, Vegas. Yes, sorry, please. Yes, yes, yes. Sorry to, to steal your thunder. Um, do you know, so the person that's that paid the deposit for your proposal was a community member, and then some other people within the community have convinced that, um, that person that they shouldn't be supporting the proposal they paid the deposit for. So if that's correct, which I think it is, do you know what they was told to make them change their mind? No, not at all. I can only see the tweets that are running around uh, calling me scammer and saying that I sold my uh, soul for, what was it, 11K two years ago or three years. Other ones are calling me racist. Uh, mate, just choose one. <laughs> choose one, I don't know. Yeah, it's a bit, I mean... I don't, I don't really know what to say about this. I've, I've talked about this before that, you know, if you say something and then the exact same thing, someone like Ed said back in the day, they would agree to what Ed said, the exact same thing that you would have said. Um, it's a tough position that you're in. And I've been, you know, since the start and I get accused that I was part of Terror Rebels as well, because I was trying to, I guess, do these spaces or tweet you to give exposure and you know help me as well because I, I got in Luna Classic and got involved with the burn stuff it was yourself Vegas that reached out to me first but I, I get accused of being part of Terribles but you got to thank what you guys have done as well to bring Luna Classic to where it is um, 
but yeah, it's, it's a difficult situation. All I can say is I try to be neutral as much as I can, although you'd say I'm still connected to Juris, connected to Rexy Terexino or whatever. Um, I try to be neutral, but what I'd, rec- what I'd suggest people to do is just listen to all sides and make your own mind because no one here is completely neutral or people, other people might have their other incentives that they want to push. Okay, uh, Jurish and then Mazeltec. Yeah, so I was just DM'd by the guy who, who deposited for the proposal, Vegas, and it's. Uh, I think he should have some faith in, in people on the chain because he, he uh, assured me that he j- initially he deposited, then he voted no uh, without veto. So maybe uh, it was somebody else who actually voted no with veto. Um, and now he texted me and said uh, that he actually changed his, changed his vote to yes. And while we were talking, uh, I checked the current voting. And I think there is a chance to possibly sway it, you know. Um, I can see that, uh, for example, Frag, Juris, uh, and others that we personally know, they voted no. Um, but um, the veto guys, okay, if you take take away uh, Jesus is Lord and some others, <laughs> um, you have Interstellar. Interstellar is a big one. So we have to uh, possibly get the others behind and then go to Interstellar and ask them kindly and stake them to to change their vote. If possible, um, and if you want to, I want to talk to DJ tomorrow. Anyways, maybe we can host the space tonight and like just have this topic up uh, because I think it's important. And I personally, I wasn't aware. I would have voted yes anyways if I knew that like um, this is what's going to happen. Now that uh, I really appreciate that that uh, that uh, you spoke with the dude. Um, I will double check uh, or try to, to to see what. But I'm pretty sure that at some point it was a no with veto. But may, maybe I'm confused. But uh, again, uh, I, at least I know that was red there. That a hundred percent that I saw red there. Uh, but again, maybe I didn't pass the information correctly. And uh, like like you, for example, people were not aware that uh, one proposal is not even connected to the other one. From from my understanding, yeah, what I can see on the second proposal is more connected, to be fair, with TFL itself than even to CMC. So it will raise a ton of questions in the future that will delay and delay and delay uh, any updates of the links. So uh, I really appreciate that this is being done. I understand that it will take some time. That's why I think uh, we should have some links straight away now. And in the future, maybe if you tomorrow want to change the, the, the telegram, maybe you are just doing me a favor because it's like uh, less less headaches that, that I have to, 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 to have. But yeah, you, you understand my point. Yeah, just try to Yeah, I didn't have an issue with the... Uh, sorry, Rex. I didn't have an issue with the, uh, with the group at all because it's one of the biggest ones. And I think it always looks good if you have a big group there. And I think Rexy was a little bit pissed that he wasn't getting all the hate for Terra Civita being the unofficial official group. And he should, <laughs> and he should, and that's it. That's it, and he should. In this situation, I understand the dude. Uh, the only, to be fair, the only dude that could be annoyed with all of this situation should be Rexy. That's it. And to be fair, you know what? Is the one that is supporting me more. Well, you got to look to the greater good, haven't you? To quote uh, a line from Hot Fuzz. Um, just to add something onto this um so when strath created the proposal um to reach out to tfl to pass the dashboards to um all nodes maybe people don't realize this but i work quite closely with strath in terms of the wording um for that kind of proposal so you know i don't believe in all this co-author stuff you know a proposal should be supported or not based on the words within it if you like you know okay um not who's actually written it which is something that you know vegas has kind of touched on there however if i've kind of contributed heavily to the formation of the proposal for all nodes and i actually think that vegas's proposal is worth supporting as well because i voted for both of them then that maybe sends a bit of a message that hang on if we've got somebody here who's actually the co-author in effect a co-author um and he's saying that then he maybe really understands what the proposal is about so strath's proposal is a way forward to create a mechanism to update things in the future okay whereas vegas's proposal is an interim way uh, sorry it's an interim um proposal to assign the um the socials to cmc um and that kind of fills that gap until strath's proposal if it is agreed um can be implemented which remember 
might not actually be the case. It might not be implementable. Okay, Mazoltec. Hey, thanks, uh, Rocco. Thanks for hosting another important space, and thanks for getting everybody together. Um, I speak for um, a pretty small validator on the chain, but uh, I, I vote on proposals. And Vegas actually, even though I'm pretty small um, vote, um, Vegas actually mentioned a comment that I had written, so I figure it's a good to maybe explain myself. And I didn't call Vegas a scammer. What I wrote was, in my opinion, Vegas sold whatever credibility he had, past and future, when he took $11,000 from the community when that uh, initial proposal was passed to give terror rebels money to develop their infrastructure. And people are free to, and, and I know Vegas from the beginning. I was here since the crash, and Vegas and I worked together. I was part of Vegas's inner orbit. Uh, he can agree or disagree with that when he uh, responds to this. But we worked together closely for the first few months, and he really broke my heart when it all came out that that money was divvied up between a few people and spread around. And I told him at that time, Vegas, do you realize what you're doing? You are selling your reputation for this score of $11,000. Now, that being said, I still am all for great ideas. And it could very well be that this is the best idea to have an interim solution, have the links up there and then worry about the ownership afterwards. But because of my experience and what I've witnessed in the two years or so, you know, coming close to two and a half years on the chain, the implementation is at least as important as the idea. And we saw first that it was went ahead and changed without any community discussion or governance. And then there was a whole blowback. So now it was reversed. And now there's a proposal up and doing it. If the if Vegas's proposal had suggested that maybe someone else take this interim thing, I would have had a different approach. But when Vegas is saying there are some dudes out there that no matter what won't pass a proposal that I put my name on to, yeah, I mean, there's a reason for that. There's a reason for that. And it's not the idea that's the problem. It's the implementation, in my opinion, that was the problem. Thanks for the, thanks for the minute to speak. No, thanks, Mazeltech, for asking the question um, and not getting like, with personal attacks. Uh, Vegas, do you want to reply to that? Yeah, I have no problem to, to reply, Matt. Uh, yes, uh, Mazel was uh, Mazel Mazel. Um, know him very well. Don't speak with him for a long time. I was not aware that you were the one writing that on the, on the proposal. Very, very disappointed, but yeah. Uh, regarding the selling my soul for the 11K or whatever, we uh, we deliver what we uh, like everyone else that is was is was working on a chain. It's a sad thing that everyone that touches the community pool uh, for one re reason or another uh, is getting attacked. But yeah, this is what I'm going to say. I'm not part of uh, of the rebels anymore. We saw things a tiny bit different, and that is what it is, mate. They are doing their thing. Um, regarding uh, regarding the the other, the other stuff, uh, what I can say. Yeah, I, I, one of the socials, two of the socials, sorry, are pointing to uh, to things that I created. And you, as a person that worked with me on the beginning to make sure that that socials were impact, you, sh you know the amount of work that was done in the beginning of the days. Not today or yesterday, yeah. Today or yesterday, I know that is a lot more uh, groups, but you know that, for example, that the Discord, the Discord, let's just talk about the Discord, was essential for the creation of, or the re revival of the whole chain. And you know that. Um, but yeah, I understand your point. Thank you so much for, 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 uh, for uh, bringing that up. Thanks, mate. Yeah, is, is it true that everyone that touches the community pool gets attacked because we've had genuine, we've had spam proposals go out where 
it was clear about what the money was going for. The community agreed to it, whether it was the joint task force at one time or another, or it was spend proposals for development that the chain agreed needed to be done. The um, the circumstances under all that- All of them were attacked. All of them were attacked. If I, the thing could properly, I, I, all of them. Okay. I, I guess that's a matter of opinion because I didn't see them you know, attacked. I, I, I do know, and I felt acutely at the time, and I, I messaged you on Discord at that time. My, my feelings haven't changed on it. I told you right after that episode, I didn't say you so, sold your soul. You sold your reputation. That's what I think, your reputation. And again, if the implementation of your idea now with the socials would have been different, it would be a different outcome. But what I see is that it's implementing idea where you know, you're going to essentially control the socials and control what for however long that may be and whether or not it's turned over at the end it becomes a, a you know a question of character so that was my my personal my personal feel feeling vegas but but th but this chain always needs good ideas and bring your ideas forward and will always but the implementation is very important as well thanks yeah 100 percent, matt yeah uh but uh, regarding for example um yeah, the wallets and stuff like that. Uh, even uh, two days ago, Hexagon Cut is not even more terrible. So I don't know why we keep talking about terrible, but yeah, uh, they just released the 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 the, the OS uh, uh, wallet. They have Android, they have desktop, and in uh, fifteen days we might not have a wallet for Terra Station. So you know what i mean but yeah okay forget that point we are talking about the proposals here i understand your point that you don't like it because you don't trust me totally respect that tiny bit disappointed but it's what it is life so yeah okay guys anything else to add to this uh wallet um, not wallet the coin market cap discussions yeah i, I mean add one thank you if you'll not if you allow me uh i rose my hand for quite some time so just yes, just, one just one suggestion to you, Vegas, because you have said that you may post uh, a post on, on, on Twitter or X about what we are discussing here right now. But you said you said that you don't think that will help. And I I, I, said, I think you, we should all suggest you to that thing that could help is you being transparent about your contact with Binance and CoinMarketCap. If you have, you know, been transparent about this, if you have shown the emails or, or their responses, or even their signed documents that yes, we will now now um, approve governance, that we will now... Uh, Did I ever you know, share any of the DMs that you sent to me? Did I ever share anything of the DMs that, I, uh, that you sent to me? Did I ever send... Uh, uh, sent to the community I'm, anything I'm regarding not cap. I am not Cormac yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm yeah, yeah, but, dude. Mate, is, mate, is... you know the, the nebulous stuff all the nebulous stuff if I wanted I could cover my thing the day that I cover my ass regarding that is because I'm out of the community that's it and I have ways to, to cover Listen, just, just, what just, let me just let me finish right I, you may have your reasons for not sharing those right but you cannot you know then um, think the, um, that the people will will understand everything and have you know re understand your reasoning if if this is this is information that you have and you only share it right now during the space and this is it looks like the official information from Binance and and CMC which are not re regular persons like me that they will now uh, you know approve everything and they now understand and uh, gov our governments and this is now something that they can use uh so, so if only if you only have heard that it's not private messages. This is uh, looks like official info from them that anybody from now can use. It's not just uh, help you, but anybody can only make help of it. If if you only have shared this and asked them for official information about this official document signed by them, you everybody will look differently uh, in the last late, let's say week uh, on your proposal, I guess. Uh, I'm not, I, I'm not, I, I'm not saying anything wrong about you because, you know, I, I don't know the case that much and I, I don't think you, you had anything done wrong in this case, but many people, maybe many people do, and maybe if they could see the, those, those efforts of you contacting CMC and by and say having official response, then maybe it could, it could have been different case. And now maybe this proposal will be a uh, way, way, you know, uh, better shape to pass actually. And, and everybody, 
could benefit from that. So this is just my suggestion. I know you've got your reasons for not sharing this, but think about this. Just think about this for the future. I understand, uh, David. But uh, one thing that I want to 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 clarify uh, is that uh, uh, I'm not saying that the proposal from Strat will not happen from the side of CMC. I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying that it might take some time. Plus, it depends on TFL. That's why I suggest to to link the the links uh, straight away now. And they uh, uh, told me that they will follow governance. Regarding if I have contacts with CMC or Binance or whatever, yeah, uh, I'm telling you that I have. Yeah, and uh, the other persons that say the conspiracy theories and whatever, yeah, if they if they say if they say, oh yeah, Vegas was the one uh, changing the, the the circulation supply and all of this and blah blah, and when it's things like this, they say, oh, Vegas doesn't have any 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 contacts, whatever. So, mate, I to be fair, I could not care less about that people. To be fair, it's this type of uh, green pieces and long lives and whatever, mate. They are just here to do. They they yeah, but they, 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 they are win spreading the drama. I'm they not going to feed that drama anymore. Never again. I'm never going to feed more of the drama of these dudes. I'm going to build and I'm going to support people that are building on this chain. That's it. But many people, you know, spread and maybe those people too spread info that CMC and Binance don't follow our governance and don't, you know, uh, you know, take seriously anything from our governance. They, this is not official for them. And once you have information that is rather different, then now they maybe change their idea. And now, from now on, they will treat it as of, as official and make changes according to it. Then this, this is super serious. And you, if you keep it to yourself and you have you tell us only right now, then I can see this as uh, something that you know uh, certainly is not helping. It's great if it's happened, but it could help being used differently. I think. But you know, this is just my opinion. Okay, John David, you've had your hand up, and then I can see tech. We'll go to tech after John David. Yes, thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak again. Um, uh, so I respect everybody, and uh, respect is mutual. Whether we agree with each other or not, like or not, uh, or what, the respect is mutual. Uh, for me, this is not a gossip space, or it's not a um it's not about attacking people or whatever this is the space that we have and we have to take the opportunity and the chance to explain to our work and and progress and the future that we see and and not talk about yesterday's or last week's he said she said okay this is really important uh, product we have here and uh, all of us some are tech some are whatever everybody has their own place in the system and and please let's not let's not talk about the past let's talk about the current and the future so we can go forward and not backwards i've been holding lunk for about two years and staking and everything okay that's fine that's who I am and what I'm about. But I do have a question. I am holding uh, some of my lunk in the in the terrace station, and uh, I I'm not a tech guy, or but I like to know what will happen to that, and also um, why can I uh, not vote how I used to on the station anymore? So my first question is, um, whoever can answer this, uh, you know, honestly, professionally, by really knowing the answer, not just throwing an answer, uh, what's the situation, today's situation with the station, and what will be the tomorrow's situation with the station, Terra station? Thank you for giving me the opportunity to ask my questions, concern, and my feelings. John, your tokens are on the blockchain, so not held at Terra Station. So um, you're not going to lose your tokens if any issues with Terra Station. You can use other wallets like Kepler. And I can see Hexagon. You can use Galaxy Wallet as well. So maybe Ve we'll let Vegas and Hexagon answer it in more detail if they want to. Right, I was going to say suggest exactly that. Uh, so, uh, John. So um, the wallet, the yes. station wallet that you have is basically just a window, okay? <laughs> One thing that you have to remember- I, I understand the wallet it, aspect of it, sort of, but how, why okay. is it that it- 
that we cannot that, vote. Yes. Okay. So uh, that being said, if you have your seed phrases and private keys and whatever, and let me just do a disclaimer: yes. even if it's me asking, never send that to anyone. Absolutely no one. But with that private keys and the password and the the, the seed phrases, you can open a wallet, for example, on Hexagon that is over here, and I'm pretty sure that you will that you will uh, add more information uh, about this. Or if you do not have this, yeah, and you are still able to transfer, you can open a clean wallet on Hexagon uh, and send send that uh, tokens to, to there. The reason that you cannot vote, I'm pretty sure that the Terra Station is not updated for a long time, so I would suggest for you to use wallets like Hexagon or even Kepler, if you are more uh, used to that. But I will uh, leave uh, Echelon from Hexagon uh, get more information regarding this because he's the expert on this matter. Hey, John. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Hello. Hey. So with TFL um, switching uh, a while back over to their focus on uh, Luna V2, they kind of dropped the ball on all things Luna Classic. Um, they did try, I suppose, and maintain it as best as they could to an extent. But over time, um, the, the TFL's wallet... Uh, Terra Station just kind of uh, most things Luna Classic broke um, and it's taken some of the community members out there to kind of band-aid repair those things. I'm not completely up on what's going on with Terra Station but it would not and does not surprise me that voting would be broken in there. Um, so that is why we have Galaxy Station. So to switch to Galaxy Station from Terra Station or any other wallet it's it's really trivial. Um, you can either export your private key from Terra Station uh, and then import it into Galaxy Station or whatever wallet of your choosing that will accept it, or you can just use your seed phrase and, and recover your wallet that way. Um, the interface for Galaxy Station is fairly similar to Terra Station, as our code, um, the base of it was uh, based off of Terra Station to begin with. So we've also got. Um, so you can access it through the web by going to station.hexagon.io. We've also got apps inside the Android Play Store. And as of three days ago, we have apps now on the iOS Apple Play Store as well. Okay. Uh, what if you're still staking? Do I need to uh, undelegate and then nope, transfer? Nope, nope. Or I can transfer while I'm staking? This is the mistake a lot of people make is that they think because they're switching wallets that they need to also unstake and then redelegate and all that stuff. Absolutely not. Uh, just as Vegas said, um, the wallet is nothing but a window into the blockchain. So whatever you've done in Terra Station, it's on the Got blockchain. It. You can move to Galaxy Station or Kepler or any other wallet, and those activities are still on the blockchain the the wallet interface will just bring that to your your attention you'll be able to see it through there okay and uh, on these other wallets uh, like hexagon or uh, do you still also get a USTC as a reward or just a oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah oh yeah yeah those are all that's all functionality of the blockchain itself right the, the wallet is just allowing you to interact with all that the features that are in the wallet that's what makes the wallet right so for instance um how you stake and uh, like how the, how that works that's going to depend on the wallet you choose is it going to be easier is it going to be harder is there going to be some features that are missing maybe the ui design isn't as appealing as the other one that's all the aesthetics of the wallet that you choose got it and uh, can you also vote on your own individual with your coins instead of your validators vote on the other yep. stage on the other wallets Definitely, definitely. I can't speak to Kepler on that one because I know in the past that voting has always been um, not as easy as it was on Terra Station or Galaxy Station. But we, we try and make things as easy as possible in Galaxy Station. And we're very active as the development. So if there's a bug that gets found by a user or something like that and gets reported to us, we try and have that resolved in, in under a week. Thank you for your answers. No problem. You have a great day, John. You too.
Okay, uh, Tech, how you doing? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, yes, can. Hi, I want to ask the people that thought it know, what's their backup plan in case TFL fails to transfer the ownership to Allnote? But for I know Jordi's what he know, so uh, does he even have a backup plan in case they won't transfer the ownership or the dashboard to the CMC? So I believe Juris has changed his vote now uh, on the Vegas proposal after learning about that after Vegas proposal passes, if the all notes passes, we will still follow oh, coin market cap email links will be handed over to uh, all notes. So he's changed his vote. But are you there, Lunatic, to talk? Well, I, I was watching the memos uh, for the people that voted no, and I never saw anyone any good actually argument, counter argument on why you should vote no. Like, this is crazy. You need people to come here, not to move to another place or look the protocol like it's dead. Like, why? And when uh, the, the links uh, got updated on the CMC, I asked uh, Vegas in the public space, uh, I saw people complaining because the socials are yours. Are you willing to move the uh, to the owner from the socials to another one? And he said, yeah, if the government agrees, it's my pleasure. Like, he said it. And another one, it's like, uh, I talk to rogues, so we can have plays. Uh, uh, we won't be moderated in every channel. And uh, she told her, like, why not create only announcements from layer one and layer two protocols for the people to direct themselves there? So we won't have to check the, the channel at anything. And, and nobody can self-promote anything. So why people are worried? No, I, I don't get it. Mate, I just realized that you bust another conspiracy because a lot no, of people. No, are no, no, no! I'm looking my my. No, I'm looking no, my no. investment. I like like yeah. I said like two years right now. I don't care who has it. Like as long as the the demand is growing to the chain, that's that's all for me. Like my portfolio grows as well. No, Tech, you are not understanding. What I mean is that was a conspiracy uh, or another attack saying that you and me are the same person. So. You and me, we were never on the same space, but today we are. So yeah, we just bust another conspiracy. Yeah, yeah, I also saw that. Yeah, true. Guys, so, should I uh, should I answer? Because tech. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Hi, tech. Um, so the reason why I voted initially no on the Vegas proposal is not because I don't like Vegas or anything, because the proposal that Streff made uh, was well thought out. And I think that this, at the very end, CMC, even if TFL refused, would f uh, follow governance and find a solution for it. Uh, but I've changed the vote. Uh, you can check the memo. I also posted the tweet under this space and uh, retweeted from all accounts and shared it in the socials. Mm -hmm. And the reason being is uh, that I wasn't fully aware that um, Vegas proposal doesn't really interfere. It's just uh, re-establishes like what we had already as interim for the interim solution so to say um so i'm not trying to block anything i just voted uh how do you say with the best intentions um and i've changed my vote and uh, i encourage everyone to do the same and vote yes uh because i don't think they interfere with each other um okay yeah well people need to realize when you make a plan you need a backup plan like what happens if it fails in ten, we, ha we have like 10 days. After that, if nothing changes, we're dead. No new money in, inside the chain. What are you going to do? You got the socials and you, people came and asked how to stake, what wallets we can use and all that. And now we're looking dead. No new money here. The volume is down from 40 million, 100 million. It's down to 10 million. How are people expecting to increase demand like that? Uh, okay, so if I can answer, to be fair, I don't think we're dead, like even if the Vegas one doesn't pass, but it's better if it passes, because then we have at least the socials up there. I think still the draft solution is not bad, and I think it will be worked out, to be fair. Um, so I don't think it's like the end of the world, but uh, it's better if both pass.
So that's why I voted yes on both. And just, I want to say also, like I went to CoinGecko to uh, copy paste whatever uh, Diamond done, and they they went to ask TFL. So if you even if TFL takes uh, gives the dashboard from the CMC to all nodes, they can't change anything to the CoinGecko or uh, crypto rank. And people need to realize if we get the listed or anything after 10 days, we need to pay 10, uh, 100K dollars and we are going to throw the whole CP and no new development. You need backup plans, even if you don't like it. I, don't, I didn't choose the socials. MC that, uh, did it like two years ago. And I gave four socials, including uh, the Commonwealth that we passed. And they said, sorry, like uh, we don't recognize your government. And they went to ask TFL and TFL only chose uh, two socials, including a website, which in my, like it's, yeah, it's not, it wasn't good, but anyway, it was something. Yeah, I partially agree with you. I think uh, socials are better than no socials. And I don't think even the choices were so bad from what we have available. Like the uh, Telegram was one of the biggest, I think. Um, website was okay-ish. I don't know, there's better ones, there's worse ones. Uh, we don't have an official ones anyways. So uh, for me, it's fine, you know, as interim. I don't have any issues and I don't have like, uh, and uh, because I want to say something else because people also said, okay, Vegas reputation, this, that. Everybody that followed Lung knows my uh, stance on this. I was also part of terrorists. I was not particularly happy about what happened, but uh, look, I'm partnering up with Hexagon. They're actually hosting the validator for us. Um, we're talking about partnership, you know, we can get over this stuff. It doesn't matter today anymore. Like for me, it doesn't matter if Vegas proposes something, if Hexagon proposes something, whoever comes up with good ideas, I will support it. Yeah, indeed. Uh, uh, is um, the thing that, uh, okay, let me just clear one thing out. It's like you were saying, it's not the end of the world. We pass bigger problems and we solve bigger problems than this. It takes some time on this chain. Yes, it takes, but normally we can solve these problems. Um, I can, uh, I can let you know that it's not going to cost us 100k to solve this problem. It just it will cost unity. That's it. Yeah, uh, that's what is going to cost us. Yeah, and I don't know what is cheaper. <laughs> so um, yeah. So but uh, regarding regarding the amounts on on CMC, normally they charge a lot. They will not charge regarding this. They just want something clear. Okay, so they want something clear to change things out regarding CoinGecko is one thing if we can change the coin market cap and it stays for a while whatever the, the information is what the community agreed on i believe that we can then change the other aggregators as well and other centralizing changes as well uh but like tech was saying if we just take too much time and do nothing then we just close ourselves outside of the the house with no keys and the house is completely built out of steel so it will be almost impossible then for us to go inside and and try to do something um but uh, yeah it's not the end of the world we can we will find a way to solve this out and it will not cost us that amount i'm pretty sure well, that will not but it will be much easier if we just we just do this that is passing one proposal and then pass the other proposal yeah Having links for now, and then solving the, pro the 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 problem for the for the future with with the the forty one, if indeed it happens. So I'm um, yeah, I hope that I'm wrong, but I'm I don't know if it's going to happen that one. Um, yeah, regarding the regarding what uh, what uh, Julius uh, was just saying, um, regarding the, the the people always talk about the past and all of this stuff. Um, it's it's really sad that people still using me as a weak target because i am i'm involved with everything seems that i'm involved with everything uh to attack the dudes that are really doing a lot of work and uh, a lot of good stuff here on this chain one of them is hexagons uh they are they are mate we have wallets people are on just now on this on this space people were uh, asking what the, uh, options we have we have options over there and it's really really sad that the, that they every time that i do something and mate echelon is 90 percent of the times that we talked in the past it was like but you are crazy <laughs> so it's not like they they were even 
on the same uh, ideas than me, so I'm completely independent in my ideas. And he said that it's just drag everyone, including, for example, Rex, is now that because he voted on my proposal, oh yeah, he's an ex-rebel and what they are calling as terrible rebels or whatever. And it's just sad, mate. The dude needs to ask sorry for to, to Rex, yeah? Because after yesterday or two days ago, whatever, that the information was made public, uh, they will win my support, yeah? I never fought the dudes, but uh, I never supported them publicly. And for that, I have to say sorry uh, publicly as well. But indeed, they are doing a great job, and uh, they didn't. They didn't run away. Yeah, even after losing what four million dollars or whatever, they are still here. So it's really amazing that a lot of people that that uh, that are working on this chain, they are still here, even for the all the heat that these people that are doing absolutely nothing uh, are throwing to them. Uh, and I think um, with this type of decentralized team that we have, we will we will, we will defeat any kind of of problems that we have. And to be fair, this of the links. In my head, it seems a big problem, but then I wake up in the next day. Yeah, we will solve this out easily if it doesn't pass. So yeah, I'm not going to lose time with this. Sorry, Matt. I'm just brainstorming with you guys. Uh, Vegas, one suggestion from me: if you could do anything with USTC Repeg idea, USTC staking, I think hopefully that could change the community's um, view on you. I know a lot of people appreciate <laughs> you, but there are I know there are people that when they see Vegas, they hear some warning stuff, but there are people that appreciate you as well. Ah, that's really nice, Matt. Uh, that being said, uh, is another uh, proposal or a future proposal in a layer two that I personally, I do not know if it's the best thing to do, but at the same time, it's so well designed, or at least it seems so well designed, that uh, I think they deserve to, 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 sh to share uh, with the community of the full proposal uh, before I even say something. That being said, yeah, this week I have uh, I have a, a meeting to establish the last points of uh, a, a proposal to start uh, staking USDC. Um, that, in my opinion, is very important, at least for the proposal that I want uh, to propose in the future uh, regarding the USDC repeg. Uh, taking USDC from circulation is, in my opinion, highly important. So I, I really want to propose to the community that we uh, activate a staking mechanism for... Um, for the USCC. Hello, I guess. Do you have a mechanism to make the USDC repeg again? Sorry, say that again, Booker. Do you have a mechanism, um, virtual <laughs> reality or AI, make repeg again to USDC one dollar? So I couldn't hear you, Kelly. I'm assuming you're asking, but yeah, go ahead, Vegas. Yeah, I, I think I got it. Uh, so he's, uh, he's, he's asking if we already have a plan to to bring the USDC uh, uh, peg to one dollar. Is that correct? If uh, if it's correct, just thumbs up. No, I think several company have AI AI technology for make USDC ah. again one dollar repeat. Oh, so you have a company? You have a company that produces an AI service that can make the USDC repeg to one dollar again. Is that right? Buga, is that right? What you said? Yeah, I think. Okay, so just just propose it, mate. That's it. More proposals, better. With the, the, the community then can choose what will be the, the, what they all support. That's it. No, he he was asking, do you have a mechanism to bring USTC? to one dollar ah, or okay. even even two cents or three cents and as we go <laughs> that's ah, what he was asking i think it's a you know language barrier and i'm coming from los angeles so i got i speak all the languages okay 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 if he's uh, that that is asking we uh, at the moment is two solidish ideas on the table. One that is a dynamic uh, repack, that is what I'm suggesting. And then we use one from Celestials. Rexis can can uh, tell more about that, but it's a, a straight repack to $1, basically. Uh, but repacking to $1 will bring us a different problem that I will speak in the future. Just to add to that, uh, Bug, I mean, 
if we pay in, when you've got so much debt, it's quite difficult to repeg it. You could do like some denomination change and do some hype job. But even if we can't repeg, I think what would be amazing is if we can just get the narrative going. Um, it could start with USDC yeah. State in Vegas and nice talk, talk to what it last space is. It could be the ceramic proposal that I've seen. It's just getting the ball rolling um, just to get the hype going when with Bitcoin yeah. right out to new all-time highs, it'd be great to have something for the classic community for people like myself and others to, to talk about. And hopefully, I'll take yeah. a repeg it, but even if, just to get the narrative going would be great. Yeah. Um, it's not the fact that, uh, you know, we, we repeg it to $1 tomorrow morning. That's not going to happen. Uh, it's the fact that uh, the, 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 the work that's being done, even into this step by step repegging, you know, with, with cautions and, you know, for two cents, three cents, four cents, whatever it is. But do we have a plan and and even if we have a plan have we been working towards that plan but my my i really want to speak about something else if i can if i may because that was not my question that okay, was yeah uh, go ahead and then we'll go to question yeah thank you thank you for the time again uh so basically we are the we are very decentralized and we are very democratic um blockchain and ecosystem obviously um and and uh, and it's awesome and we have so much potential uh, i'm not a programmer or whatever i'm an investor and i started investing when i saw what i saw two years ago and and i saw the potential into this and it's awesome because it is really decentralized versus most any other thing any other ecosystems or coins or whatever you call it and and uh, and also that I have noticed before <laughs> that um, we have a super big support from Binance, and uh, I've spoken about this in in uh, previous uh, air, you know spaces. Um, since we are really decentralized, and since we are known for that, uh, we still need a advisor advisory guidance um help something bigger than what what we are right now and i believe we had we have that full support from a person and a and uh, entity or a, or a, uh, and i'm talking about binance and cz and and we have this support and and they got a great you know big bag and of course uh they have to look for their best and and uh, my my what I was what I'm trying to say is that uh we are decentralized and we always will be and everything is on voting and 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 validators and we will never die end of the world will not happen we will not see but we have seen end of Lunk and 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 we picked that up as a community. And and there's much more to come. And I believe, and I said this before, I can put that proposal myself and 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 ask um CZ to help us, guide us, advise, counsel not be you know not not centralizing just a opinion and 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 real opinion that obviously you know you cannot get a better opinion than his opinion in my in my opinion um and uh, that will be a very big help and a very big everything for us just to show us guidance, counseling, not not steer anything, not you know control, not to be a leader. There is no leader. The leaders are the investors, like guy like me. Okay, and uh, I can pull my money out anytime, but I don't. I'm the leader. That's what makes this uh, our ecosystem different from any other you know, 27, 30,000 coins out there, okay? Or, so we have something really big, 
And we have a big support, guys. We have real guys that we do have in our teams. Some agree, some don't agree. And yeah, you need you need some some friction, you know. That's what makes us go forward. Even the fathers, the fathers, the the, the bad guys that give us, you know, those make us even stronger. <laughs> so, um, uh, you know, and I'm not afraid of. Uh, where we're going. Um, I know where we're going. It's just that we need to have together as a, as a real big community. Some agree, some don't agree. Doesn't matter. But it's, it's the whole collective and, and a, as a whole. So please, I, I ask anybody that can, I'm not, a, I can't put a proposal, I, I, you know, but let's put a proposal, you know, have, ask, ask and invite uh, CZ to help us out in any way any way and and i i believe so and uh i'm sure that he will reach out maybe not the hand but one finger and that's okay you know so um and and guys let's get our shit together we we are about to get into a big bull run and whatever run, but we have something very golden. We have something very important, something that has very big potential and it's in the hands of everybody. And everybody's trying to, you know, get as much as they can. And this will never be decent. Uh, this will never be. decentralized uh but but let's work together as as a as a full-on community onto the same focus whether we agree or disagree but uh thank you for all this time you gave me to speak but uh, i would really ask you beg you somebody to do something uh, to ask maybe not the hand or at least one finger and that will make a big difference.
conference. And, and, and I believe he will join because these guys have been supporting us from day one, <laughs> burning their money. <laughs> Who's going to burn their money? Nobody. Unless if you believe in what you believe in, yeah. And me, I've been just keep on buying the dips and dollar cost averaging and staking, brothers. So, thank you. If anybody has a, uh, you know, anything to say and anything about this, if if it makes sense or it doesn't make sense, please do so. Okay, thanks, John. Juris, you want to go next? Yes, uh, thanks, John, for the inspirational message. Um, I want to add something uh, to the my last word on the CMC debate. Um, It's uh, something to Like maybe a lesson we can all learn, uh, and this is not against tech, just to be clear, um, because I would have supported his initiative regardless. Um, but I think it's also crucial, like a lesson for the future for all of us, if we want to do like um, initiatives like this, I think it's crucial to, to gauge su support, you know, it doesn't even have to be a governance proposal. Um, but like, for example, David, he wanted to set up some project management tools for the chain and he approached me and I said, yeah, I support this. But before we go public or before we announce something, before we do something, let's go and first ask at least um, some of the validators, community, I don't want to call them leaders, but like members with um, prominence or whatever. Let's try to get 20%, 30% voting power um, for the idea so that there is no backlash you know there is no big um, discussion or like outrage later because i think this could have been avoided um, even though i still don't think um, that what was done was bad or anything because i was supporting it at the end of the day but i would have also supported it if um, it was like brought up in a better way to the community before you know like uh, just have discussions have a space at least you know have uh, just write some of the validators um right in the discords and then we can like um all agree or disagree in, on it but at least there is uh, something some sort of consensus on it and this is not an attack against tech i just want to make this clear um that's it from my side Okay, we can let Tech respond and then maybe move on to some other topics. Tech? Uh, I actually want to say something to David. There was a couple months back asking Binance, there was a proposal that passed asking Binance to burn USDC and they rejected it. So just for him like to ask Binance to help further, uh, probably they won't do it. Can we ask again? We did it. Well, well, we sent our guardian member, angel, uh, Jesus is Lord, and they rejected it. Yeah, every every Not year wrong. during Christmas, we ask Santa Claus for our favorite toy, and he doesn't bring our favorite toy every year. But eventually, if we ask enough, <laughs> it's, it's going to come to us, brother. You can't just try one thing one time and, you know, it's persistence, persistency and, and, and you know, passion and you know belief and well that's what the thing is you need to to understand that binance helping is not like the way you say it it's like smart money strategy that's all it is people don't understand it and they think binance will burn trillions which is totally wrong not all them by themselves we have to be part of it i mean santa claus doesn't really exist you know <laughs> So uh, well, we, we have hope, to yeah. do our part. 
Well, I mean, everything moves around hope. If there's no hope, then there's no. Yeah. Right, but thanks, John. Uh, you got okay. some informational thoughts. Um, maybe the next topic was we're going to talk about steering group. Um, we we'll leave that for next week and have DJ Trev come because it was his article suggestion. Um, so I'll check with DJ and then maybe talk about that next. We briefly touched on USC Repeg. Vegas talked about it. Um, the other key thing I'm looking forward is the ceramic uh, proposal they're going to make. I know there's some talks that he went ahead without the team and again i'm not gonna uh, there's some drama behind it so i don't fully support it but i'll listen to it like like i've listened to it other people's opinion so that that white paper is coming out early in november i believe first week of november so we'll watch out for that i don't have anything else to add, add on the uscc repeg um Julius rexy have you guys got anything to add on the uscc repeg Not directly on the repack. Like uh, I would support any initiative that um, that uh, is good and genuine. Um, I know the drama you've been talking about. I was made aware as well, so I'm hesitant. Uh, I want to see what comes out of it. Uh, but in general, the idea sounds. Sounds good to me. Um, Redline also liked it, um, but I don't want to say too much. You know, I didn't like read all the details. We didn't really have him on the space. We don't know about the stuff went on, so yes. uh, I will leave it at that. Um, yeah, and with the Binance stuff, I'm in between John and Tech. Like, I think uh, I, I talked to some people that uh, talk to some people, and I think um, um, it's a little bit special because CZ has this how do you say that uh, he did some promises or some some he he was engaged with luna in some way or the other and i think he's going to um if the community i think that's just my opinion personally yeah. i think if the community was united like we used to be in 2022 uh, and i disagree like this is not about governance proposals this is more about community right if we were all united and we were would ask for help show that we are uh, we have strength, we have ideas, we have vision, then I think that some people would support us in one way or the other. I don't think they will burn like five trillion coins. I don't think that, but uh, I think there will be support if we get our shit together. That's just my point. Okay, no, thanks for that. Um, Hexagon, do you want to add anything? Yeah, um, I don't know. This is just of my own personal opinion, not a view of Hexagon, but a view of myself. I find it, I don't know. It's interesting that the community seems to hinge everything on Binance and uh, and and all notes. It's um, I just I just don't know why that is. When I feel that maybe the community itself should hinge its hopes on the community. Um, I can't see Binance coming down and and really doing more than what they've done as far as burns and whatnot. Um, in the current state that the community is, I mean, for Christ's sakes, we're still arguing about social media links and burn tax and, you know, whether or not we should do tax to gas Well, tax to gas is no longer needed. It's, it's a lot of like around and around and around in circles we go. And, uh, I, I just, I just don't understand it. Like another thing that I don't get is the, the whole, you know, we need to repeg USTC. We need to get that back to a dollar. Why do we need to get it back to a dollar? I mean, it doesn't make any sense. Why can't we just accept the price of Luna Classic is what it is right now, and the price of USTC is what it is right now, and build and just let that itself increase the price from where it is to wherever it goes without the help of Binance and, and you know, all nodes, you know, taking control of social media links or the decisions of and all this. I just don't understand, like, why we can't come together and just agree to just, let's just build forward. Who cares what the price is right now, you know? We don't need outside help. We are that help. Just let's do it. 
That, that that's just my opinion, right? I just feel like a lot of the time, it's like excuses for not following through with things because we're like hinging our hopes on other people sometimes. I I agree with what you're saying to some. Well, well, I think I agree with you. We need to do something, right? And whether it's the USGC repeg. The reason why I talk about USDC repeg is there's so many people I think are interested in it. If we, I'm not saying we'll repeg to a dollar, I think that's more of a meme. But if we can have a repeg idea that the protocol or something that people can get behind and think it could work from a community point of view, I think it will bring a lot of investment and potential price for it to go up. So I've accepted where we are. Uh, that's why I think I want to support the USDC repeg, whether it's a community or whoever. Um, I think that that is like our unique selling point. No, I, I, I agree with you there. I mean, I'm not saying the repeg idea is a terrible idea. I'm just saying that uh, it seems like a lot of people out there are really um, putting all their eggs in one basket. And it's it's kind of like the main focus of, of Terra Classic at times that I find. And, and because of that, it really holds back progress on other things, right? Because everyone's all like, well, yeah, that's a great idea what you got going on there, Joe, but um, no, we need to do the repeg first, right? So it kind of just holds up things at times. And I think maybe it's more of a, instead of being the, um, the, the front runner of project ideas for Terra Classic, maybe it should just fall back a bit and, uh, you know, let some other things take some limelight, and, and, and but that's just my opinion, though, right? So, no, okay, I, I appreciate the opinion. The other couple of things that I push is, I guess, the USDC repeg, because I guess as an influencer, most people like to hear about it, so I tweet about it. Um, yeah, other things is the jury stuff, um, the lending borrowing protocol. There's other projects that are being built as well. I guess I'm part of Jury, so I'll shield that more. But there's Elban, there's Garuda, um, there's the Terraport meme coin stuff. Me and Rexy has been trying to push through Terra Casino burns. If we can yeah. get some meme coin hype going, hopefully there will be more on chain trading, more burns. There's some other stuff that I'm pushing. But what's your? What are your couple of things that you're interested in, or you think that Luna Classic can push? Anything, honestly, like uh, for me. I'm I'm all about just head down, shut up, get the work done, right? It's uh, just 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 build, just build, and then build some more, and then build some more, right? There's no reason to stop building um, because we're not pegged at a dollar or anything like that, right? So stuff like uh, Juris Protocol is great, right? Because it really brings the community together, and it would be nice to see some of those influencers influencers instead of picking people apart and putting you know, ideas down and whatnot for their influence and follower gains and delegations uh, to maybe instead prop these type of projects up and bring the community together and uh, more awareness about it, right? Because as you said, like there's Albon Project and um, Gar Garduna, or I, I can't pronounce it. But anyways, a lot of these projects people don't even know about because unfortunately I would say these projects are not the greatest at marketing themselves. Right, so then that's where these influencers should step in and say, "Hey, do you know about these guys? Uh, maybe you should check them out." Yeah, I agree to what you said. They're not good at marketing, but if you look at it from the influencer's point of view, so I'm, I guess, an influencer with Luna Classic is slightly different because I've, I guess, I've got different sort of feelings towards it and I've the experience that I've gone through, like roller coaster of emotions and trauma yeah. with Luna Crash. Um, but it, it, they, the, in, the influencers needs to be incentivized as well. So I probably show other projects that they reach out to me, like, oh, can we do marketing? I do share that, yeah, I'm investing in the pre-sale or investing in the coins. But I think what Juris and Edel69 has done really well is he's reached out to a lot of people, influencers and teams and, and collabed. I think a lot of meme coins don't do that as much. You can say Cat with Hat has done a good job by partnering up with Terra Casino, with Rexy. I think a lot of the Luna Classic projects could do that. I'm not, I'm not. some of them might be doing it, but I think they could do a lot better by reaching out to influencers. Not doesn't have to be big ones like Vegas, me, um, Debt Diamond Hands, Happy Catch, I guess, are the bigger ones, Rexy. But even the smaller ones, they could just start to get them to use it, talk about it, and build a community. I think that is something that Luna Classic projects can, can do better. No, I agree. I agree. 
It's just um, and then pay the influencers as well because other influencers are not gonna. Sh they'll be like, "Why am I shilling your project and you dump on me?" Where I'm not getting benefits. It needs to be like a two way thing, right? So it needs to be influencers get some benefit and then the project gets benefit. It's not pumping, you, up, you, but it needs to be. You, you, you can't ways. talk about making money in Terra Classic. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's a problem, isn't it? I I have to be very careful with shilling Terra Classic project. I, I'm if I I I've shilled projects right. Like Unibrow, yeah. it went to two hundred dollars and it dumps. It, it basically got hacked. I don't know if you followed the Telegram bot trading stuff. And I didn't get yeah. any hate. But if if any projects, like if I shield a Terra Classic project and it there's risk to it, and I put my name on on the line with LL69 and Juris, but if 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 it happened on Terra Classic, I'd probably have to delete my Twitter because they'll be like, oh, Rockers <laughs> getting money on on this meme coin. <laughs> well, the one thing I noticed in Terra Classic is um, it seems like some influencers seem to prefer to jump on the hate bandwagon and use that as a means to grow their followers and delegations. And I don't know why that's, that seems to be more common than, than less lately. And, uh, you know, if we just stop that kind of stuff and instead influence, uh, unity, um, and positivity, <laughs> I know I'm, I'm starting to sound like a, a song here, um, but it, it would be it would be a far better than than the negativity that I've seen spewed out for the last week with this whole social media crap. Um, to be quite honest, somehow I don't know how uh, our team got dragged into this. And dude, I, I was on vacation out in the woods, the boonies. I have no idea. I just read a couple tweets and heard something about social media links got changed and the terrible rebels were involved and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, dude, all I can look around and see is fucking trees. <laughs> so I'm like, I have no idea what the hell was going on back then until I got back home about three days later. Yeah, I think Luna Classic reacts to it more than I've seen in other communities. Um, what I've seen worst is in Solana where people like cheer on people to like pump and dump, which is crazy, but I'm not saying we yeah. need to be to that extent, but yeah, I think you're right. We probably need to focus on the positives more. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I don't see anything really wrong with the whole social media link thing being changed. The fact is, is that we, made the public aware about these social media link issues and, and things on CoinGecko about a year ago. And, and we told them that, you know, this can't be changed unless you get TFL to sign off because CoinGecko and CoinMarketCap both said they're not making any changes to the site unless they get something officially saying to do so from a TFL email. Um, and at that point, it was just, okay, well, you know, we're just going to leave that up in there and see where that goes, right? Because TFL was still in the game at that time. But yeah. it was already brought to the attention and no one at that point seemed to feel that it was necessary to make any moves and get that done. It wasn't until that it actually did get changed and someone actually did manage to do it that everyone kind of got up in arms over it, right? And I can see the side of it where it's like, well, you know, the community wants to be able to have a say in what links go up there and whatnot. But on the other side of it, it's like, okay, well, these are third-party websites, right? This is like layer two stuff. So it really, you know, it should be and is the discretion of those sites at what links get put up and who gets to put them up, right? Um, and with TFL disappearing, I mean, if it had not have been tech that went and got those changed and TFL finally leaves on the 31st of October, then what? Why? Who, who are you going to go to? Because TFL probably would have shuttered the doors by then and probably not been responding to emails. So at that point, nothing would have been changed. So, I mean, is this just a blessing in disguise that it kind of lit the fire underneath a, you know, a bunch of people to finally get things rolling? Yeah, I mean, I... I Tex got his hand up, but I did thank him at the start because he took the initiative and not a lot of people do that here. We, we talk and we say, oh, we can do this, we can do that. Tech actually yeah. went out there and got it changed, so fair play to him. Cool. Tech, have you got anything to add? I've got two more questions. Yeah, I want to ask Akelon, uh, don't you think this layer one chain needs a use case? The Repeg, Stablecoin, or... Uh, Renzo's discovery, which the chain can do what Celestian is doing with the layer capabilities, DA. Don't you think this chain needs it? 
to increase demand and all that? The reason why I believe Terra Classic was so popular was because of Anchor Protocol. Now, if Juris Protocol fills that gap, I think we have our use case right there. Um, whether or not the market module comes afterwards and, and whatnot, great. But as far as the USTC repeg goes, I believe it's going to require a shit ton of capital to get that done and maintain it. Um, so I don't know if that is the greatest focus that should be of Terra Classic at this point, if it gets in the way of other things being built, because it seems that it shadows over any kind of um, utility on the chain that other people want to try and come in and build. Because as you've seen, anyone that applies for CP funding to build out a project on this chain instantly gets attacked or called a scammer, unless it's layer one, which then we've seen how that went with tax to gas. So, you know, here we yeah, are. True. But to add uh, Ceramic, uh, have you read his proposal or whatever he's doing on the Twitter? No, I, I haven't really looked at it. I just know that that well, was a group, I believe, that Rexy put together or something like that, right? Well, he wants to uh, auditing the, the CS from the USDC. You know what's that, right? No. Uh, it's uh, He wants to verify how many coins is on the circle supply outside. That's why auditing is. So, okay. Uh, well, I can't, I can't really are, speak on it because I'm not... I, I, I don't really follow the, the repeg stuff, to be honest with you. Okay. I will send you a, a link on Discord. Sure. Okay. Jewish, you have your hand up. Yes, I'm sorry. Um, so I want to say something. Uh, I think I partially agree with uh, Echelon, Hexagon, um, on the USDC. Uh, but I think... Um, like repeg I think repegging is important or it's an important narrative USCCC uh, made Luna great and whatever but uh, a lot of guys like from the beginning since I was in Terra Rebels everybody's focusing on the market maker module as if it's something like glorious and you know it's just an arbitrage thing it's doing nothing on its own if you don't have buy pressure you need buy pressure and what generates buy pressure either some centralized party with shit loads of money like echelon is saying comes in and buys up the supply or the the uh, the, the usdc whenever it's like below one dollar um, but why would people do it if there is no use case why would anybody want usdc other like right now lots of people want to speculate to it for it going to one dollar that's like nice 20x um that's different but like if it's at 95 cents why would i want to hold something you know, it's a stable coin. What can I do with it? And there is no use case, nothing. So Echelon is actually right. You know, we need to like focus on use case, on uh, on building stuff. And in the meantime, people can think about like how to fix the market module, how to get, you know, then people actually have an incentive to 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 repack, to find solutions, you know. And it's nice that the uh, Ceramic, I think it's, it's the name. I appreciate that they work on this, but at the end, even if you get the nice market module, you know, working, even if you have the best mechanism, the best pack defense, uh, why would you guys even want to hold USCC if there is no use case? Like, I don't want to, like, obviously, I want to show Juris a little bit, like, we're building landing protocol, and we're going to, like, whitelist USDC as an unstable crypto, which you can borrow and lend, you know? At least borrowing and lending, it's one use case. So people might want to use uh, USDC to either lend um, and that's one use case. You could have different stuff, you know, online gambling, for example. You could have closed ecosystems where it doesn't matter if it's at one cent, five cents, ten cents, and then people could use it as a currency inside of the whatever you come up with. Like, for example, uh, poker could be a great thing, you know, casino could be a great thing, or whatever. Game could be a great thing if it uses, like, everyone knows Grand Theft Auto. There is, like, a, a mod on PC where you can have... Um, um, like servers, online servers, and then it's like a closed environment. It doesn't really matter. If it was in-game currency, people would use it. Then you have a use case, you know, then people have actually a reason to, to buy and use it. And I think that's what a lot of people are missing. Like there is no use case. So maybe we should focus on use cases um, to actually have the narrative uh, or the incentive for others to come in and like repack this shit. Otherwise, why? what's the motivation other than pumping your bags? But it's not sustainable. It's just my opinion. 
Yeah, no, well said, Juris. And I think that's that's why I tried to push the, the gambling and poker stuff, especially I think poker could be something that we could we could use. Rexy, you've got your hand up. Yeah, thank you. It's um, <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's turning out to be an interesting uh, kind of conversation, isn't it? And um, I think it's very evident that there's a lot of people, with a lot of different opinions. Um, in terms of Binance, I think what we've got to remember is that successful businesses are sustainable, and they're sustainable because they're business plans and they kind of stick to them. Might be a bit dynamic, but they've got to generate a profit. And you can't generate a profit by just chucking it all out the window or burning it. So people that are holding on for Binance to come to the rescue and, and kind of burn everything, they kind of got to sit back and think, why would they want to burn their profit unless they're going to get something in return? Now, if you go back a couple of years, you know, we've got a massive community um, because of the fallout from the crash and, you know, many people basically joining the ship in terms of thinking, hey, you know, UST is going to jump back to a dollar and Lunk's going to nip back up to, you know, a 10 or 20 billion dollar chain. Um, and there's a massive amount of hope with that. And I can understand that that generates FOMO, which, you know, helps with the price and stuff. However, from Binance's perspective, that was tens of thousands of customers that were potentially going to trade long. So there was a payback there. You know, we burn some of our profits and you come to us and you trade and we'll charge you fees and we'll make money out of it. And if we don't make fees out of long, we'll make fees out of the things that you trade long with and generate profit that way. But we're not that massive community anymore, unfortunately. I'd love to be wrong, but, you know, it's diminishing. And some people are giving up hope. Some people are just despairing and stuff over the petty politics and stuff like that. Um, so I think we have to we have to look at us being the rescuers and that there isn't going to be some mysterious organisation come to the rescue. You know, if you fall overboard, you've got to learn to swim first before you, you know, to survive long enough for somebody else to come along. But I'm not convinced anybody is. Now, from um, CZ's perspective, and you've got to remember CZ isn't in charge of Binance anymore, and he did us a massive favour helping us out. But CZ's um, ethos was always build, wasn't it? Build, build, build. And he used to spell it in various different ways. And I completely agree with um, Echelon and um, Juris here that if you haven't got if you like a kind of a use case or you, if you haven't got a um, kind of something that's exerting buy pressure onto your chain, then it doesn't matter how much you've got in circulation or how much supply you've got, because actually it's going to have little value. You need that buying pressure. And for that, you need to have utility in whatever shape and form it may be, whether that's you know, trading meme coins, lending and borrowing um, protocols, you know, entertainment and, you know, whatever it may be. Um, so I think we need to work on attracting people to the chain, showing people that we're alive and kicking and there's utility here and there's a community where you can invest in various different, you know, def invest in various different coins and there's opportunities here for maybe to peg other kind of protocols onto it as well. Um, and we've got work to do to make that more attractive. Um, but I don't think just relying on th this dream of USTC becoming a dollar has been something that will rescue the chain. You know, um, I mean, we could we could make USTC worth a dollar tomorrow. You know, all we need to do is, you know, do a reverse split. You know, it's not difficult. But do people really want that? I think what people really want is they want to be rich and they want to be rich without any effort. Um, and they want somebody else to do it for them. And if somebody else gets rich before them, they're not going to be happy about it. Uh, and if somebody else seems to be making a profit, but they haven't spoke to them about it or they haven't involved in them, well, they're going to fud them because there's a bit of jealousy there and resentment. And I think people just need to put the big boys' pants on and grow up and think, if we want to be part of an ecosystem and that ecosystem can go on to be something that's of value within the crypto the wider crypto world and actually, you know, I guess kind of pump up again. Actually, we've got to be part of that. And just like with the recent 
um, kind of issues with CMC and the listings, you know, I could have, I could have really created a shit storm there, couldn't I? In terms of, um, that's a technical term, by the way, uh, in t- in terms of like the Terra V to TG or not being the chosen one, or you can actually sit back and think, what's for the greater good of the chain? You need to have recognition. You've got to work together, and that sometimes means that maybe you got to take one for the team and look at how you can turn every event into something positive and we've just got to do more of that i mean to give you an example um i'm not sure whether he's going to discuss this or not uh trader you know forgive me if he wasn't but you know just this week jacob gadigan released information that had come from the un security council that was about the hack from terraport um you know 18 months ago where we lost four million dollars and Myself personally and the team behind Terraport, we've had resent, re, re, relentless FUD about, you know, our team being the ones that stole the money. I mean, you've got Diamond Hands and many big validators out there saying they got proof that we stole it. But the UN Security Council seems to think it was North Korea and Binance thinks it's North Korea and all the enforcement agencies do but we've got some fucking idiots on the chain that think they know better without any kind of evidence and the unfortunate thing is is that some people will follow that and they'll think there must be some truth behind it and this means that you know you end up with situations like we've got at the minute in terms of you know um, voting on um, proposals where these people that are actually selling kind of snake oil and um, you know, false narratives, they win the delegations. They they kind of convince people how to kind of vote. But actually, it's not based on fact. And it's, um, you know, it's a big issue. So, you know, I guess kind of just stepping aside there and looking at it in terms of positives. You know, I saw what, you know, Jacob had kind of released. And I thought, what do we do here? Do, you know, do we... <sighs> Do we kind of go along with this and actually hold a, I'm going to say hold our hands up. What I mean by that is, do we actually acknowledge these reports that have been released and say, yes, it was North Korea that um, that stole from Terraport? Or do we just not say anything again? And we kind of took the view that, okay, maybe now's the time, now that this information has been released, that we acknowledge that, yeah, it was North Korea that hacked us for $4 million. We'd actually made an agreement with uh, Binance and the enforcement authorities that to support them in terms of trying to combat fraud, we wouldn't let on who'd actually stole from us and the mechanisms. Because if you do that, you're actually helping them become more successful because you're letting them know that the enforcing authorities know how to track them. So, you know, we couldn't do our hands were tied. We couldn't say who had actually hacked from them, hacked from us. But like I say, many of these influences on our chain, you know, apparently knew better, but they didn't. And when it kind of came round to us trying to rescue some of these funds that were stolen, and there was $2 million that was stuck on chain at one time, you know, with some fantastic help from some of the L1 team, we got some code put together so that we could rescue these funds that were stolen on the chain. And virtually every validator decided to turn around and say no we're not going to stop them funds from being liquidated um you know and money laundered now because you know we we know that you're the hackers well there wasn't there's wrong so all them validators actually supported north korea in terms of liquidating them stolen funds and taking them off chain so that's two million dollars of users funds that escaped because validators decided that they wanted to trust people with zero evidence over a team that was you know basically hacked and we'd actually got all the evidence we just maybe couldn't share it so if you look at it from a i'm kind of digressing aren't we so but if you look at it in terms of okay terraport was hacked we was hacked for three months was infiltrated and you know through social engineering four million dollars was stolen but the Terra Classic community and all the validators, or pretty much all of them, well, you were scammed for nearly 18 months, wasn't you? Because you believed that the hackers weren't the hackers. You believed the narrative of some other people on the chain that knew nothing about this, but they convinced you that they did. And that affected how you supported 
or didn't support a team that managed to survive a more four million dollar hack by a com by a country not necessarily just by a hacker and we've come back and we stuck with terror classic and we wanted to you know commit to being effective at trying to build out the future so yeah you know we've got to have a big we've got to really sit back and consider the part that we can play in terror classic where we draw our information from and what we can do to rescue ourselves before we actually rely on other people to do it uh yeah i did see that post from jacob jacob's a guy that i've spoken to before um and i respect and he's come up with all that information and, and i shared that tweet rexy so i was gonna ask you a question but we have been going for two hours already i think maybe next spaces if ll6 sounds cool with it as well we can talk a bit of the backstory because i've I'll put my hand up. I've had a go at you guys as well previously without probably knowing all the details. And you guys also, like you said, haven't shared all the details. So people don't know. Some people probably still think you're the big boss of Terraport, Terra Civita, and you run everything. So it'd be maybe good if you're okay with it. Like talk about the backstory. Um, I, don't, I don't run anything. I've only got 89 validators now. <laughs> <laughs> That's the story that people think. And it's, it's misconception. And to be fair, again, today we're listening to this side of the story. I'm, I'm happy to have Diamond Hands and other people as well on, on the space. It's happy to get to crypto and, and speak to them and try to take a neutral view so people can hear both sides of the stories. But we've gone two hours without even shilling my bag. So we'll, we'll maybe take five, ten minutes to shill our bags and before we go. We'll let Jewish protocol she'll share some alpha and she'll and then we'll share a meme coin all right Rocco um give me a second because I wanted to give a quick brief update because we are we're over time um and I have like two two percent uh battery left on my phone and no charger in place so um I wrote uh, something in the telecom of jurors and I just want to like uh, sum it up or because lots of people are asking what's going on uh, by the way i apologize guys i deleted the wordpress site because i was going to put something up today um and what i didn't um recognize is that the dns was uh was, for some reason um hosting a uh, kind of removed the dns management when i deleted the wordpress site which should be separate on most hosting panels but uh, for some reason it was affected so the api and stuff is down right now and the link to the git book um Gitbook is still accessible through the normal Gitbook IO uh, URL, but not through the docs at Juris protocol one. So I apologize. I will uh, fix it. Got home from my parents, uh, first of all. Uh, and then I want to give you some updates of what's going on. Last week, I had like uh, this meeting with David. Um, he was here for speaker to to uh, explain what we did. We had like workshops on branding, visual identity for the professional branding of jurors, uh, which I think was a success. It's, we spent like 12 hours or so on the meetings. Um, I think it was pretty productive. Um, there's not really something to show because it was brainstorming, uh, exchanging ideas and doing all sorts of exercises that I didn't even know existed, but uh, they were pretty fun. and. Um, I think it was also useful apart from branding. It helped me to realize what Juris actually is and uh, how we should approach it in future. Um, on development side, um, Frag right now is on holidays. So blame Frag for not having the dashboard up and running yet. Um, but it's basically ready to be to be deployed. Uh, we're just running final tests, but I don't want, to, want it to be published while he's on holidays, because if something goes wrong, I don't want to knock at his door and make his boss, uh, aka his wife, unhappy. So uh, we're going to publish it. When... On the landing protocol development, Duncan and I are finalizing the landing protocol specifications, the Git book. I think it's uh, going pretty well now. Duncan is doing super great work. And I'm super happy um, we will have a meeting with the lead dev, uh, who's like DJ's friend, um, so that he can verify everything is good. Then we go to solid proof and let them write specifications for each of the milestones and modules. There's also internal talks going on, whether uh, like on how to do the development, with who we should do it, uh, whether we stick with the company that we choose or if we do it uh, otherwise. But that's like internal talking. Um, <clears throat> then the next point is I yeah I'm going to make some changes to my private life to be able to uh, spend way more time on Juris uh, to actually do project management and like get the team done and structure everything and 
basically be there more or less full time, but uh, there will be announcement and stuff. I'm iron, ironing some things out and deals in the background. To Yeah, can you guys hear Juris? I think it's just. Oh, am I rugging? Ah, I think yeah. you know you I'm went off. The battery's been flat. Yeah, let me get the charger because I think I will lose you guys in, in like two minutes or so. Um, so I think uh, uh, Rocco and Nati they're helping with the marketing strategy. Um, so one second, guys. Oh, there it is. Okay. I apologize. Um, so, um, Rocco and Nati are helping with the professional marketing strategy. Uh, Nati presented me a compre comprehensive plan and like uh, um, um, PowerPoint uh, thing to, it was pretty nice. There's like 20 pages or so on it and now we're busy uh, putting it into work items and projects that we can uh, so that we can put them on the JIRA task management, project management. So we have deliverables and uh, uh, iron things out. Um, we are talking to Hexagon who's here um, about the potential partnership to make everything official, um, work closer together. I think there will be announcements soon. Uh, we're in the chat. Um, I hope that we can uh, exchange ideas next week and then uh, see where we can go from there. Uh, we got the contact to Wormhole finally so that we can finish the rebranding on the foreign chains like BNB and Solana. Um, we didn't get a reply. We put forward our request and I think they're going to handle it soon. Um, then we were approached by Coinin, Coinin the uh, CX that we wanted to get listed on um, and start testing market making. Um, they told us that they are basically fixing Terra Classic modules or the backend for Terra Classic and they asked Frag for some input and help, um, which we are going to um, provide, but he's on holiday. So I think it uh, takes some time. Um, Coinin told us that their API Alpha version is ready to be tested by us. So um, we are going to start developing the Hummingbot connector for it. Um, if anybody in the community wants to help us, uh, we are open for help in that regards because it's something where we all could benefit from. Uh, all the other L2 projects could also run market making strategies on their own using Hummingbot framework if they want to. Um, so that's something being worked on. Um, we had this team meeting on Friday where we discussed um, some internal things and also discussed uh, shortcomings and like uh, issues we have. Um, weak points basically, and one of the weak points is actually delivering on time, which is pretty hard in decentralized project where everybody works part time. So that's something I'm going to fix on my end. Um, but therefore we will uh, not make any sort of uh, promises anymore in regard to timeline. So we can just say we are trying to get things fixed ASAP and stick to the original uh, plan for starting development, but I'm not going to like promise you guys anything right now. Um, we just want to be 100% sure that we can deliver on time whenever we say stuff from now on. Um, and I think there is nothing to be added, if I'm not wrong. Um, I forgot to say we hit 10 million again. Oh yeah, on the good side, we had 10, 10 million, we lost a zero, and uh, now we got it back. Actually, one guy dumped like 5.8 grand uh, worth of jurist right now, like a couple of hours ago, and it, I think it got bought up within one hour. So uh, yeah, if you sell at the new support, you're going to get wrecked, I guess. Um, let's, let me end it with this statement. Cool. No, thanks for the update, mate. Um, yeah, I've had a couple of meetings with you as well last week, so... Look forward to sharing more about Jewish, uh, what we're building. Rexy, um, got a couple of questions on the Terra Casino bands. Any update on that? Yeah, it's going really well, isn't it? Um, Cat with Hat, I think it reached an all-time high uh, uh, this week. 
Um, yeah, and it seems going from strength to strength. It's a you know, it's a lovely chart. I'm just waiting for Claybro to say that, um, like he did about Juris. <laughs> but um, yeah, as part of that kind of strategy to help bring people into Terra Classic and create some kind of sort of Solana or quasi Solana kind of meme narrative, um, I think we just got to kind of get behind it. But it's it's going well. It's going in the right uh, uh, the right direction. Um, and if we can help Cat with that, get to um, well, do a kind of another sort of ten or twenty x from where it is. I think it'll be in a really, really good position. Um, I did look at some of the records over the last month to six weeks that we've been working with Cat with that, and it's actually done a a fifteen hundred percent kind of gain in that time. So you know, you can't say that that's not unsuccessful, even if it only reached to where it is. So uh, you know, fair play to everybody that's contributed to that. Um, Terra Casino has got some burns coming for Terra. Um, there's there's some of that that's been kind of acquired through betting that we, we need to um uh, get burned it's still going to burn some lunk as well um and yeah it's going from strength to strength um but as i've kind of said in the past terra casino i mean effectively it's stake.com but it's our stake.com and the potential you know for the, the potential for it to generate um, kind of money to add towards kind of burning tokens on chain is you know is tremendous uh, and all of us that help kind of promote it and let the wider kind of world out there hear about it, the more potential it gives for Terra Classic to turn that volume into usable volume and money for, for Terra Classic. Um, just kind of picking up something in terms of Juris Protocol, because it's done absolutely fantastic, hasn't it? Um, I think you reached an all-time high this week as well, which is great to hear. But going forward, something that Terraport's done, because... Um, Terraport has got quite a lot in development and on the launch pad currently um, there's a, a protocol that's been developed and that protocol might help fill the trilogy so to speak so earlier on in the this discussion I think Echelon said that something that he believed drove people towards Terra Classic or Lunk or Luna back in the day was Anchor been a borrowing lending protocol but there's two other things as well and one of those was the decentralized exchange um which kind of teleport ticks that kind of box now but the other was the mirror pro protocol and this launch pad that we've got um the protocol that's on it the aim some of the the aims behind that if you like are to deliver synthetics effectively to be a fork of mirror but in a updated and revised manner that's appropriate for terra classic as we are now and that's something that will really aid juris protocol and take it to the next level because you've got extra things there that you can actually trade and borrow and you know generate kind of um useful so is that going to have synthetic assets then so you could like long stocks and short stocks yeah yeah that would be amazing man i mean i, I used to love that product i used to make content and again i got literally messed up by having assets on mirror and anchor protocol that i lost um during the crash but uh, yeah i used to love that protocol uh, you could do some amazing sort of hedging strategy of like longing and then making the almost like um delta neutral strategies on on mirror and like borrowing from anchor protocol so yeah it'd be amazing it'd be like bringing back bringing back flashbacks for me like using juris and um the new mirror protocol yeah and also then you've got you know like quasi stables then aren't they so therefore if you want to do some um some trading you've got a kind of stablish currency to kind of you know bridge back to um is there any more information about it is there like a white paper been released like tokenomics and when it's coming uh not at the minute i mean this is very early kind of alpha so to speak um yeah so it's been there's some elements of this that have been discussed within the terabit kind of telegram but you know it's uh, it's not kind of been publicized as such but it's it's reaching a um, position where it's not far off from going onto the test net. Let's put it that way. 
cool. No worries. Well, thank you guys. Um, Hexagon, have you got anything else to add? We'll start rounding up the spaces now. Okay, he's not there. Uh, Rexy, anything else to add? Uh, I guess. I guess one final thing, which I think maybe summarises a lot of what a lot of what people have kind of said here today, and that's if we want Terra Classic to succeed, we've kind of got to join together. We've got to, you know, bury uh, our kind of resentments and inhibitions and um, issues that we've got with one another, and we've kind of got to bind together and work to make Terra Classic known outside of outside of our own kind of community um there's no every time we fight against each other and we maybe like a lie that's been created um or we don't actually research to check that that thing that we're going to like on twitter or x is actually genuine we're kind of sending a false narrative out there we're not actually doing ourselves justice so let's not just assume that what we read is accurate. Let's do our own research ourselves. Let's find out our own truths and let's work together to bring Terra Classic back. Awesome, where's Rex? And yeah, we'll, we'll delve more into this uh, next basis. We can ask you more questions about Jacob's post. I'm interested in that myself. Um, David, have you you got apparently some bullish alpha for us before we finish the spaces? <laughs> I mean, hopefully, hopefully you let me let me shield Juris for a couple of more minutes. Uh, I guess I guess Juris deserved that. And uh, I just want to say that you know I uh, I had the pleasure to work with Strafko for a couple of weeks and and a month. And he is professional in in many ways. But let me tell you, uh, I I've, I've spent last two or three days or so six, seven hours a day with a uh, sitting on a, on a webcam and, you know, seeing each other. Previously, we had, uh, you know, legal agreements between our companies signed. Everything is smooth. The guy is twice as big as DK, uh, at, at least as professional and uh, ambitious. And uh, he's got such amount of knowledge. And we did so many, so many, so many great things that you know both Juris and Lel I think will benefit from. The whole branding workshops was about knowledge transfer, giving me information, so that I could, I and my team could later design great branding and great UI/UI for Juris. But but it was also a lot of learning for for LL. And if anybody thinks that you know those delays or nothing not, not much is really delivered yet it's it's because you know if anybody thinks like this you you you'll need to know you'll need to see those 88 pages 88 pages of documentations and you will yeah i wish i wish you have the chance to to learn everything that i learned from ella from ella and he's got so much knowledge so be patient we we've done quite a lot of work if if only you know if if if, just, if, it, if it was just us for those two days and there are other people working with L, um, the progress will be very great and you know the price shows it. So be patient. We did quite a lot of work um, and a lot of work in front of us. Uh, we will take care that we'll, we'll try to make juries not only work great but have professional branding uh, and then professional UX UI. So this. You know, Al asked me to talk a little, little bit about, about, about this because he's, he's he's not from this world, but he appreciated the work that we've done. So I hope this is alpha for for people who appreciate professionalism. And if, from my experience, Juris so far is the most the most professional you know entity that I worked with in, in Terra Classic. You know, even going ahead in terms of. Um, a couple of things ahead of Strafco, at least, at least the fact that that, that you know LL is uh, is a real person for me. We have video calls, and I, I won't be duxing him, right? But this is real stuff that is going on there, not just you know kindergarten and some 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 place, right? And he is even now thinking to to move full time to jury. So I hope this is alpha. We will be showing way more once we'll have designs ready, right? Everything right now.
till now was conceptual brainstorming, creating ideas, brand symbols, and 20, 30 different activities that we did. But those are, for now, it will be just for jurors. The result of that will be visible for you in a couple of weeks' time, I hope. So stay tuned for that. And and I guess this is it. A lot of good things in front of jurors. And I, I'm glad that I've got my part on this. Awesome. Thanks. Everybody. Hopefully people still don't think that a jurist has been built in the back garden. Um, <laughs> but no, um, Lunatic is doing a lot of work. I have regular contact with him and there'll be a founders meetup as well. We'll call founders meetups meet soon, potentially in Germany or in London early next year. So that will be interesting as well. Lunatic, I'll um, give you the final word, but guys that are requesting now, we do this every Sunday. So if you join next week, we'll, we'll, we'll be able to bring you up. We're just finishing up, finishing off now. We, we tried to aim for two hours, but we always go two and a half. So we'll, we'll finish the uh, space. And if you want to talk, do come up next week, comment below um, or let us know. Lunatic, we'll give you the final word and then we'll end the spaces. Awesome, Rocco. Uh, Rocco, thanks. Uh, thank you, David, for the awesome show. Um, for me, it's also a pleasure to work with you. I hope uh, that the community, uh, once we can publish stuff, that they will appreciate what we've built. Um, I hope that we can get together for the for the website, by the way. I see that Yoba is listening. He always uh, asks me about the website, and I always have to apologize that we're still late on it. Uh, I initially did not want to, I initially wanted to quickly publish something, um, but I'm talking to da David to see if we can come together and uh, make it part of the branding to start with a lightweight uh, website that has all the info available and reflects our branding, but that's like uh, not decided yet. Um, and to sum it up, uh, I just want to say, want to say thank you to everyone who listened, to, um, to Streff, who's also listening, and to the speakers, to Hexagon, who's hosting our validator. They have a great wallet. I still didn't have the chance to check it up. My phone. Um, I'm actually using the extension, but uh, I'm going to install it native on my phone and then check it out and make some tweets about it. Um, I hope that we can partner up. Uh, thanks to Rexy, to Terraport for supporting us. Uh, I hope that we will also have an official partnership. And I think we have an unofficial one already, but uh, to make it more official. Um, yeah, thanks everyone for listening and uh, see you next Sunday, I guess. And thanks Rocco for hosting as always. Awesome, cheers guys. Well, thank you all for listening. And um, like I always say, listen to this with an open mind, listen to the other parties as well. This could be one side of the story. People could always have um, different agendas. I have my own agenda. I want to make money. Uh, most people have their own agendas. So listen to everything, be open to it, and then make your own decisions. Thank you all for listening. Uh, do follow us, follow Rexy, Juris, uh, all the people that spoke here, and we'll catch you guys next week. Good night all.